What up, Andex? Amazing Ray, how y'all doing? What y'all getting into today? I'm still uh getting my stuff together here. Yeah, yeah, we got a full case too, man. Whole case. It is gonna be some excitement. I just haven't loaded anything into the store yet. So I got that going for me. No, we're just doing packs, Ray. <clears throat> I would love to be able to do a full team break. Yeah, they, so that's actually the first time I found this was at my local little card shop. And I was taking a look at it and I was like, man, this looks uh this looks really, really good. So I ended up picking one up and I fell in love with it. Now I can't stop ripping it. <clears throat> It's like every chance I get, I fall in love with it. Um, one pack at a time. Nowhere you go are these not like priced ridiculously. They are, I mean, for such a tiny little box, they are super expensive. So we're starting them at 65 a pack. Guaranteed auto in every single pack. And there are some very, very big autographs that you can hit in these. Um, we got, it's a full case, 12 boxes. Um, so we got 60 packs to run through. Case hit, guaranteed. Um, like I said, you're looking at a guaranteed auto in every single pack. So, I mean, I wanna see that Daenerys. I wanna see another sketch. That's what I need in my life, another Daenerys another sketch and we'll be good to go i mean if we hit a daenerys you know an amelia clark auto we're looking at it's at minimum a thousand i've been seeing them selling for two grand just a base auto dual autos 3500 kit harrington would be beautiful all right s young you got the first pack what box you want to go for they are all numbered i can list out all the numbers if you want me to R4, one, two, three, and four. Ooh, I about dropped all of them. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> we'll set that right there. So this is gonna be pack 5332, or box 5332 of wonder. I gotta say, I'm happy that they did a box of this nature, just because, I mean, it is a small box. There are very few packs in the box, you know? Oftentimes you get an entire 10. All right, you got one through five. Mm -hmm. Number four, all right. We'll set those up right there. Yeah, they didn't try to like do a huge box and kind of make it seem like you, you were about to get a massive amount of packs, which I'm a fan of. I'm definitely a fan of. All right, all right. Got a little Sansa starting out. A little Sansa start. We'll come off the back. Yara. All right. What up, Quook? That's a... Tell me that isn't just a beautiful card. Yara Greyjoy. How you doing, buddy? All right, coming into our little, ooh, Daenerys. You got Grey Worm, Varys sitting there. I've been doing awesome, man. How you been doing? And we should be coming into, a, ooh, we're coming into a canvas? Pack number one, we're hitting a canvas? 
Woo! Starting out with the fire. Pack number one out of the first box of the case. All right, let's see where the auto is. We'll see what your canvas is numbered out of. All right, you got some grin. What up? How you doing, shoe? Oh man, we're... Yeah, we're hitting up Game of Thrones. I got a full case. Um, I, of course, still have Star Wars. No question at all. Oh, man, these cards right here are absolutely beautiful. The best quality control. Tops has nothing on this set. Like, Tops needs to come in here. They need to watch the written house, and they need to say, all right, so that's how we're going to do it. It is. It's uh, honestly amazing. All right, we're hitting 40 out of 75. You got Selmy and Lin Lannister. Congratulations. That's a sweet hit right there. That is a very sweet hit. I've got to adjust my camera. It is It is all in my way. Yep, numbered. Numbered, you got 40 out of 75. Your autographs are not numbered. They are set up in a rarity code. We can look up the, um, the checklist and it goes by rarity. So the most... The rarest ones, all right, excuse me, there we go. The rarest ones you're looking at uh, less than 100. Sometimes it's only five autos of that card. But yeah, that was, a, that was an awesome pack to start it off. I'm going to sleeve the rest of these up. I, I do sleeve every single card because, I mean, look at them. How can you not? Sansa, you got Yara. I did. I just got it in, Quook. I got it in yesterday, I think. And of course, you know, I'm always working, so I got a chance to open it up. I was like, heck yeah, I got a message, Quook. And then I didn't. <clears throat> yeah, um, Grin. He was the one. I'm, I'm rewatching it right now. So he was the one that... Um, when Jon Snow tried to abandon it and go help out Rob, his brother, at the war, when it first started, he went with old um, Tarly, Samuel Tarly. Yep, Night's Watch. Him and uh, there was another guy. I can't remember which one it was. They went to go get him back. He's hell of a character. Absolute hell of a character. Most of them are hella characters, though, right? I mean... Yeah, that new House of the Dragon coming out. It's going to be so sweet. It's going to be some absolute beauty showing up. Let's see, I got some mail in today, too. Got some from Midwest Heat. Let's see uh, what I didn't hit. What up, Envy Wrath? What up, Bones? It's about time for me to get a new knife. Yeah, a little bit of mail day. If I can get it open... It's, uh, my knife just isn't sharp anymore. It used to cut through everything like butter. There we go. Let's see what we got. I rarely ever hit anything, so we'll see. Collect the bees. That's me. Yeah, looks like we got an Atomic sitting back there, at least. Some base cards. I think this was a Midwest Heat um, mixer that I'd gotten into at some point. So, yeah, got a little bit of Chrome Galaxy. There we go. Out of 150 on that Atomic. And we got a random base Luke. So, super fire. Absolute spiciness. <laughs> That's how I do them, Breaks. <clears throat> That's why y'all don't see me get into them overly often, because that's usually my pulls. 
Also got a little bit of uh, two lady Jedi's here. What up, Dub Dalla? How you doing tonight, bud? All right, let's see what we're doing in here. Oh yeah. Oh, the arts and images. Man, they are, uh, did you get just one box? I had to, I had to jump up on a whole case. Yeah, I, I went with the full case this time. Cause they are, man, these cards are absolutely amazing. They really are beautiful. We just hit a canvas at a 75. And then we also now nailed the um, Grin autograph. All right. yeah, this is my first full box of pre-release I've ever done. Isn't that crazy? I've gotten some singles here and there. I think this is the one I'm looking for here. Look at that. Got the big P. Those are my hits from the box. Nice little shore trooper. I'm not sure how rare that is, honestly. I don't really know anything about the whole pre-release. I know they look cool, and my mom absolutely loves them. Yeah, the ticket wasn't bad. Got the Force Awakens on it. What's up, kiddo? What you doing? What? Why come? <laughs> you got the cough drops? Yeah, there's cough drops. What up, Aaron White? Let's see, where's that live? There we go. It's cold, Dad. Okay. It's cold. Can I open a pack? No, not right now, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, this is the one uh, S. Young just hit. Well, this thing's just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. But that right there, those are some good hits. That is that is some good first pack action. What up, Lemonator? Yes, ma'am. What is it? Yeah, go for it. Yes. Take it away. Do you know those Pokemon cards that are like boring? Those boring Pokemon cards? Um, I, yeah, I guess. Can I cut those and like make a picture? If you want to. <clears throat> no, it doesn't really specify um how many numbered per box. I think we were hitting the last boxes we've done. We were usually hitting around two two per box um somewhere around two numbered there there's a lot of other inserts you can hit in these things like there's metal card inserts all kinds of stuff um there's dragon glass die cuts those things are wild looking i would love to pull one of those and they go for pretty big money but the biggest chase for me at least is definitely your sketches or Daenerys Targaryen autograph and then of course Kit Harrington. I really would love to see a Maisie Williams come out. Arya Stark would be awesome. But you got your hold on. Let's faux show. Yeah, so here's some base cards. Here we go. You're on Greyjoy. These are from a different set. There's a couple of the sketches right there. Look at that thing. That's Wesley Smith's. This one right here. Got the Eerie. This is Roy Covers. 
different set. That's some of your metal inserts you can hit. Yeah. All of these inserts like this are all numbered. They only made 75 of each one. Got the King Robert. Hodor. Little Baby Ned. Some more of the numbered inserts I was talking about. Um, no, I haven't, I haven't really done anything with it. <laughs> I haven't really been putting it out there. And then this is an out of 50, five out of 50 that I hit. Yeah, but every single pack right there has a guaranteed autograph in it. So every single one. So it's a, yeah, Ghost is awesome. It's, um, we got 60 packs, so it's a 12 box case. 60 packs, so we got 60 guaranteed autos, 59 guaranteed autos left because we, of course, just pulled one. What up, VME? Kamua, how you doing? Pope popping. <clears throat> oh, God, yeah. I just saw it, S. Young. I'm always slow on reading things. <laughs> yeah, um, like I was saying, I picked up my first box from the LCS that I go to on occasion. And like the lady there had no idea what they were. She didn't really comprehend anything about it. And she was just like, I just want to see it open so I could see what's inside of them. So I uh, dug into the old pockets, picked one up and immediately fell in love. I love Game of Thrones, of course. It is a hell of a show. And these are some, they are hella good cards. There's a um, couple other sets. I mean, they have a good amount of sets out. So this is a cheaper set that you can get. It's a 24. So there's five packs per box wick. And then you're looking at, what is it? Five cards per pack. I, I think, yeah, five cards per pack. Five packs per box. Five guaranteed autos per box. There's a, like I said, there's an autograph in every single pack. Case hit definitely should be. I mean, we're looking at a sketch. Um, a one of one metal card is a case hit. So these are all that cheaper set that you can get. 24 packs per box. There's two guaranteed autos in that. And then this is the arts and images. And these are some more right here. Your little red and black inserts that you can pull. Your black inserts are a little, a little less um, normal for pulling, but there's a bunch of Daenerys in here. So much Daenerys. Got the dragons hanging out. Um, you like you got the Night King. <clears throat> oh God, yeah, you definitely have to have some money to complete a set of this. <clears throat> definitely, if you're going for like all the autos, whew, good luck. You'll have to dig deep, dig super deep. I don't have that type of money. <laughs> What's up, Flartner? <clears throat> Ooh, Iron Anniversary 2. We did the Iron Anniversary 2 last weekend. We did a full case of that. I actually have the case hit right here. Yeah. Got a nice little uh, gold medal card. Yeah, we pulled all the autographs out of the Iron Anniversary, too. This is out of the Iron Anniversary set. Not from this set. 
Iron Anniversary is a little bit cheaper. No, not a 101. This is just a gold one. A little gold map. Oh, yeah. I forgot to show y'all, too. Look at that. Got the new packaging in. Whew. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Isn't it? God knows. Yeah, I got a, a massive amount. I haven't gotten the rest in. I got a lot more coming in. Trying to sell seven sketches. <laughs> They're definitely sought after. The sketches are crazy in this set. They're all like super hyper realistic. Ian McKesson tried to get in on Game of Thrones and no, not Ian McKesson. Sorry. It was, um, <coughs> crap. What's his name? No, I am in NC. Oh, North Carolina. We post the link up everywhere. Um, yeah. Ian's trying to get into the new set. It was Sir Edmunds. Yeah. Sir Edmund was trying to get into it and they turned him down because they said his artwork wasn't yeah pretty good pretty good chance it was facebook group i'm on ig um youtube tiktok i'm everywhere but hopefully ian mckesson will be able to actually jump in on this set or the next one coming in because it should be house of the dragon coming out and i think it's in june that it's releasing Ooh, how good were they? I never asked to see them. I'm sure he did. Yeah, I mean, you, you definitely don't have very many people up here. I know Dub Dalla has opened it a couple times up here. Um, I don't know. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna shoot up quite a bit. Oh, did he post them on IG? I don't really look around very often. <laughs> <laughs> you are an odd child <laughs> yeah i think we're gonna be seeing a lot more game of thrones popping up especially when the new set releases um you know we're getting it out there a little bit more a lot more people are getting into it it's the quality control it's just the absolute greatest what up space how you doing tyler the quality control is absolutely ridiculous how you doing tonight space mm -hmm. I think when the House of the Dragon set, like I said, I think it's in June is what I was being told when that releases. I think that's going to be a crazy set. I don't know if it's going to do as well. Honestly, I think House of the Dragon might open more people's eyes to the written house sets. And then, then I think this set's really going to take off even more because, I mean, this is just about the most premium you can get for the Game of Thrones. Your art and images, your um, inflections, those things are wild. You're also looking at 500 a box, I think. <clears throat> yeah. Definitely ready to see an, a sweet little sketch show up. Hopefully it's going to come. This weekend, we're going to see one. Big old Sketcherito. <laughs> oh, stupid phone. What up, Maddox? 
do some uh, adjustments here. There we go. There we go. She's going wild back there. What's up, Bizarre? How you doing, bro? What up, Joe? Marvin, how's it going? It has been a while. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Ooh. That's cool. I'm reading the vampire book right now. Well, listening to the audiobook, I should say. What's up, Athena? Poe Poppin? Yeah, that thing's sweet, right? It's just uh, five packs per box. So we've opened one already. Um, As far as I'm aware, you're looking at one per case. First pack... Um, I think I got it from Barnes and Noble or second and Charles, maybe. And we hit the grin auto. We hit an out of 75 on the canvas. Yes. 40 out of 75. I did. Or wait, you're talking about the, the cards? No, I have to order these. The full case. I can find some at my local LCA. Well, I say it's local. It's like um, 45 minutes away. But totally worth the drive. What's up, Chew Man? Alex? No, I haven't seen it yet, Bizarre. Have yet to seize it. What's up, B-Moon? I did get the new new packaging material in, though. I don't think they have retail packs. I think the closest you're going to get to a retail is their regular hobby. Ain't that something? Yeah, sometimes it happens. What's up, Dano? I have seen the Valyrian steels, but I have never opened one. We've definitely pulled some Valyrian steel autographs, and I don't know if like that's uh, the same thing. Like, I don't know if every auto out of the Valyrian set is a Valyrian auto. And, I mean, if you did, I mean, I would imagine they would just ship it back to you. I don't know. Yeah, it'll show up sooner or later. Yeah, I definitely haven't done any of the... Uh, I haven't done any of the inflections so far. Lord, she's going to knock the whole house over. And I haven't done any of the Valyrian steels. <coughs> I've done the arts and images quite a few times now. It's definitely a, a very good set. And I have done, <clears throat> yeah, 7.2K. Whew, that's, uh, that's spicy. <clears throat> hell, just buying this set was expensive as hell. Weird kid. That Iron Anniversary we did last weekend, that was a really fun rip. We had some really good luck out of it. You know, we hit that um, 
the Varus and Littlefinger dual auto. That was pretty sweet. Hey, babes. We definitely did some pretty good stuff last weekend. What's up, Futro? How you doing, JC? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth having sitting around. It's such a great set. I mean, it's hard not to have it. What's up, Brad? What up, Myers? Thirsting to death. It's because I got normal size arms. You got two right arms. That's what I'm getting at. Come on, sugar, you gotta brush your teeth. All right, bedtime. Tomorrow's Friday. Woo! And then spring break. After tomorrow? Yep. What? I want to go on spring break. <laughs> Get some bull hockey. Pre release. So, 280 Jedi's. That's what they usually run. Good lord. What up, ready? What's up, C. Loose? All right, Kelly. Come on, old timer. Nice. Very, very nice. Hanging out, buddy. How you doing tonight? Ooh, that one's creepy. Like a monster's ink or something. Mm-hmm. It's a monster under the bed now. Oh. What up, Madre? Come on. I got my kid, Drew. Isn't that thing creepy? And she did some uh, monster mouths. <laughs> and she had her little singing chorus thing today so I had to rush home and jump on that oh that sounds terrible she's off to brush her teeth ma it was a uh, like 60 it was a uh, the space stuff what up Pokemon collector yeah random space songs that were uh well it was a third grade chorus thingy so you can imagine how it went <laughs> it was super short thankfully because they're not like legitimately in oh what's up super collector clark good morning sorry i got it set up over there but i don't really look at the youtube side quite often but how are you doing today Good Lord, good morning from Japan. Can y'all imagine that? Full on morning, terrible. They found more broken parts after they're sending the parts off to paint. Yeah, get that insurance money. <laughs> yeah. You ain't got to pay for it, so I guess what's the matter? Let them do their own thing, huh? <clears throat> it would be in your favor if you actually had your rental insurance like you thought you did. But here we are. It's not being mean, it's being a realist. I'm just stating facts. What's up, E Man? Just stating facts. Because I can't tell you how many times this woman has preached to other people make sure you have renter's insurance, make sure you have it so. When your car breaks down or you get into a wreck or something, you'll have a rental for free. Years and years. Oh, yeah, we opened every bit of that last weekend, Silos. 
You can't ever say that enough, Ma. <laughs> it's always so true. The Obi-Wan set? I got you. Hold on. Let me find the right stack in the 3,000 stacks. It's a paper set. Here we go. Just had to find the right stack. She ain't in here either. We're getting there, Celos. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a lot more people in the Game of Thrones. So this is your Obi Wan set. Little inserts. They are, like I said, movie cards. You get a lot of Vader. A lot of Vader. You're guaranteed one auto or sketch per ten. I guess I could have left it there. You get a lot of Reva too. Yep, yep. There are sealed boxes in the buy it now. I have, um, here we go, it's somewhere in here. There you are, it's pinned up. $70 for a sealed tin. Lots of Obi-Wan, lots of Vaders. That's a Inquisitor insert you can nail. Baby Leia's, you got Baby Luke's. It's a good set, um, it's a hard hit. It's very low in hits. The autographs are absolutely gorgeous. Definitely if you get a big one. Checklist for your Obi-Wan set. Let me pull it up. she's loading all right so that's your autograph what up lizard boy your cases have been hitting haven't they i've been seeing it all over the place yeah so this is the autograph design these are your base card numbered your um printing plates of course black is your 101 Gold out of 10. This one is the red out of 99. Mostly the Discord. <laughs> Got Baby Leia. You can hit your fabric relics. Let's see. Let's get to the autograph checklist. So you got Beru Lars, because she's everywhere. What's up, Georgie? Nari, Devastator Captain, Denson Clord. You got Ned B. Um, Ewan McGregor is Obi-Wan. You got Kyo Organa. Um, Grant Feely is Luke Skywalker. I tried to invite you to it, Lizard, and you said you didn't join Discords. You were too good to be in the Discord with us. Um, Ian McDermott signs as Palpatine. Uh, Tala Durth is in there, of course. You got Freck, Jayco, Moses Ingram for Reva, Handmaid Nagira, um, Raya Kilstet as fourth sister, um, Wade Wrestling. Rupert Friend is Grand Inquisitor. Uh, Breha, Selly Organa, Veteran Clone Trooper for Tamura Morrison. That's a big chase right now. Yep, Moses Ingram signs in here. You can definitely pull Ariva. She is right there. I know that everything's super tiny and you can't see it. Then you got your dual autos. Baru and Grant, Ned B. Let's see, where's it? You got Vader and Ewan McGregor is a dual auto you can hit in this. You got Obi-Wan and Tala, Obi-Wan and Tamura Morrison as the veteran clone trooper. A lot of Ewan McGregor hits you can get in here. There's another Obi-Wan coming in a dual auto. You got Vader and the Grand Inquisitor you can hit as a dual. There's also triples, um, Hayden Christensen, Ewan McGregor, and Ian McDermott. Odds on the duel, you're looking at one out of 12,000. 333 packs for a one of one dual auto. Other than that, so your highest numbered is one out of 759 packs. That's numbered out of 25. They are very, very um, hard to hit. 
coin medallions. Uh, the patches are only in the blasters, so you can't pull that out. What up, bro? Who's concept arts, creatures and aliens, Vader and his inquisitors. You got a black metal variant checklist as far as your Darth Vader. They're numbered out of five. One out of 7,000. I've never seen one of those, so I have no idea what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, we've hit one medallion ever, and I've done quite a few cases. But they have all the metal variations. It's, you know, Here's the heroes. They look really good. I've seen them on Facebook. It's a uh, it's a good set. It's just like I said, it's low on the hits, very low on hits. It was supposed to be very sketch heavy. Also, the new Doctor Strange, probably not. I don't rip a whole lot of Marvel or DC or anything of that nature. I like it a lot. I just don't rip it a whole lot. I actually have a box up here. I don't even remember what set this was. It was the uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I ripped a couple blasters of that. I didn't hit nothing. <laughs> and that's always been my luck. I never hit anything big when it comes to Marvel. Like nothing. What's up, whoa, Nelly? MSG. <laughs> Yeah, you got guaranteed autos in every single 10, but, you know, you might get tops. What up, Bagsy? How's it going, bud? Doing awesome, man. I actually have the entire weekend off. So I'm I'm doing pretty good. Oh man, did you see the new uh new packaging? Whew, look at it. Brand spanking new with the Julie Ann's artwork on it. Yeah. Still waiting on my shirts and some other stuff coming in. Yeah, I got I got some actual merchandise showing up. It just didn't show up with those. I guess those were able to get printed out quicker. What up, DKB? It has arrived. Winter is here, buddy. Maybe not for you, because, you know, Hawaii and everything. This was the case topper. 80? That sounds terrible, bud. Isn't that cool? So a nice little map. It's a metal card. Definitely a fan. DKB coming in. Going to bed? Yeah. Love you. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. Came up to the girls, the two twins, and said that I called them. Where are we going, DKB? Okay. And um, so now, and then those twins got all of their friends, and four girls were fighting. Uh, and they started running after me after second elective, and I ran fast. Remember what I told you? Always defend yourself. Always you defend yourself. yourself. That's right, but you also got to remember, I know how you are at times. You got to make sure you're not uh, starting stuff. As long as you ain't starting it, you defend yourself. You ain't going to get in trouble. All right, DKB. Just uh, remember that, okay? All right. Love you. See you in the morning. Boy, I'm with you. You know, I can't disagree with that. <laughs> Love you, sweetie. 
Uh, e man, we're gonna jump on your uh, hobby tins right after this, bud. Look at that. We got some Ned Stark. I'd love to pull a Sean Bean. All right, got some Daenerys showing up. What's up, Ramses? Absolutely fine, E man. Absolutely fine. All right, got Sansa and Daenerys. All right, coming in on the auto. Let's it be a big one. Oh, Tormund Giants Bane, baby. All right. Ooh. Who doesn't love Tormund? Tormund is amazing. Very nice hit, DKB. Beautiful. He deserves a, a nice white north of the wall and all that snow and everything. He's a great character. My wife hasn't gotten to that. We haven't gotten to that point yet. She's going to love him, though. There's no question. No question at all. Who doesn't? He's he's awesome. Some nice sweet cards coming in, too. Nice little base cards to go along with everything. Ned Stark's definitely a good hit. All right, E-Man, so I have, there's actually two tins right here, one on the left and one on the right, and then I have quite a few back here in the box. Do you have a preference on which ones we grab? What up, Huss? Swat Dingo. Not picky, got you. I'll grab some from back here because I'm lazy and don't want to do it. <laughs> All right, I'm guessing you're not worried about which one we rip. Left. All right, I'm going to get your name on this one real quick. As soon as I figure out, my wife keeps the tape. <laughs> Bam. I got it. It's always good because she puts the tape up where it actually goes. Yeah, there's a guaranteed auto in each of these. Guaranteed auto um, or sketch is how they're labeled. All right. Got your second one set up. And we will rip... El Numero Uno, and then I'll run some more Game of Thrones. What's up, old buck? Yeah, there's always the chance of getting uh, tops in these sets, but it doesn't happen overly often, thankfully. And I'll ship the whole tin with it and everything also. No worries there. I love the tins. They're awesome. How you doing tonight, old buck? All right, there we go. There we go. Let's, let's set them up. This is, this is the greatest thing about these tins. They hold packs perfectly. Going pretty good, going pretty good. We hit a nice little uh, Tormund Giants Bane auto a minute ago. Getting into some spicy little uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi packs. Hopefully about to pull a black. That would be wildly amazing. All right. You got old Flea and the Reva. Obi-Wan. Quiet moment for Obi-Wan. Baby Reva. Coming in on your heroes. Can't talk. Heroes. Owen. Concept art. Another Reva. Master and Apprentice. Personally, y'all might not uh, agree with me 100%, but I am not a fan of Reva. I didn't like her character very much. Great actress. Amazing actress. But I just didn't like her... Um, her story, I guess. What's up? This is the way. All right, we got our fake Jedi here. Owen Ariva, this was an amazing scene, though, wasn't it? Owen standing her down. 
Doing pretty good. How you doing tonight, bud? Inquisitors. Got that purple, Obi. Purples are non-numbered. You got blue and purple that are non-numbered in this set. Tala. Love Tala Dureth, though. What's up, Boba Fett? All right. Got our Grand Inquisitor. All right. We got an auto coming in, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, not the auto. This one gets me all the time. Ominous ship approaches. When you see that little bit right there in the corner, I swear to God, it looks just like the autograph background. Lola. Oh, Lola. But yeah. And you know, the only out of five silver frame I've pulled as a personal is a Reva. So I hit the Moses Ingram. Tell me that isn't a sweet Vader card right there. There are some sick, sick base cards in this set. Heroes. All right. Got your little poster insert, Obi-Wan. Sometimes these will sneak up numbered. Imposing third sister, Obi-Wan. Baby Leia. Everybody loves a little baby Leia. What's up, Derek? Snappy, how's it going? <laughs> What's up, Aaron? Morbid. Colin. Another amazing Vader card out of this set. My favorite is the close-up of him and his cracked helm. I hope we pull it. All right, Bail Organa, Grelly, Shadowy Reva, Tala Dureth. She doesn't get enough love. Tala was amazing. <clears throat> nice little Samuel Jackson. Yeah, I would say it wouldn't make sense because he wasn't in the show, but I mean, neither was Palpatine, right? Oh, which one was OSHA? I was definitely immediately thinking Samuel L. Jackson as Mace Window. <laughs> Another beauty Vader. Blue Obi-Wan. Got Beru Lars. All right, there's our, yep, there's our auto. We'll, we'll set this off to the side and uh, we'll sweat it for a second. We got two more packs. So we got the guaranteed auto officially showing up. Hopefully it's gonna be a big one. I'll keep my hands down here so we keep it in the uh in the picture. Obi and Owen, fifth brother. Little Haja. Reva on your insert. It's a good looking Reva right there. Freck. What a loser. Obi and Baby Leia. Baby Leia stays hidden. What's up, MSG? Pokey Premium. Oh, this is going to open weird. Uh huh. Sometimes a pack just doesn't do what it's supposed to do. You got to show it the business. Probe Droid. Underwater Approach coming in with. Looks like we got a purple insert. Got a nice little Vader card. Baby Leia on that purple. Colin, concept art. Obi-Wan standing ready. And Vader's clutches. All right. Let's see. Let's see a big one here. Let's see somebody fancy, fancy. Coming off the back, we got Lola Droid insert. Who's Baby Luke? Little Grant Feely. Nice. Little baby Luke Skywalker. Not a bad hit at all. Just a little base hit, but not a bad base hit. If you ask me. He ain't got a lightsaber yet, but he's still pure, so we'll give him a nice white top loader. Spicy. 
así. You get these things bagged up. You get some tape on that with your name. Thank you. A pleasure to rip them for you. Got all of them back in there. With the great grant. Safety net. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> and I'll ship this right along with your sealed box. I only ask if you hit a massive awesome card, send me a picture. Yeah. I live vicariously through y'all being able to rip everything. <laughs> what up, Juice Box? Straight, how you doing? Straight stoner. Uh, if only. Where did my marker go? What's up, MZ? Ooh, we got Ramsey's coming in. All right, well, we got trace packs out of the first box. It's uh, going pretty good, going pretty good. We hit a Tormund Giants Bane. Gotta love that. All right. Yeah, we got that nice blue. Far right, Ramsey's. All right. Let's... See that excitement. All right, pack number three. Pick number three, my lord. What's up, Darth Mom? Ooh, starting out with a Daenerys. Starting out with the Danny. Ooh, we got us a, a nice gold auto coming in. All right, Egret. Egret. I can never pronounce that. I know every time I say it, it sounds wrong. Ooh, Danny and the Dragon. Setting sail for Westeros. Got us a ladies pack. It's a ladies pack coming in. Ooh, a red. Out of 50 on the red. Whew. It is a women's pack. What do we got coming in next? Who's she gonna be? Carrie Ingram. Very nice. Shireen Baratheon. And on that red, you're looking at a 23 out of 50 for Ilaria Sand. Tell me that wasn't just an absolute goddess of a pack. She got the... Look how great her autograph is. These are all on-card autos, too. This little girl's autograph is better than when I actually put effort into writing regular letters. Very nice hits. Well, we know what the route she took in life, so we'll go ahead and put her in a red top loader. Why not, right? It was coming anyway. <laughs> well, this is a nice out of 50 right there. That is beautiful. Very nice hit. Now we got two packs left in this box. Might as well throw this in a red. What's up, Goldsmith? Mm, mm, mm. Very nice pack. It's Rittenhouse trademark. What is? I already forgot what I was talking about. Having a goddess of a pack? There's no question about that. Rittenhouse is on fire with their quality. They are absolute, I'm telling you, every pack I've ever opened, they're beautiful. It's a beautiful set. Gorgeous. <coughs> where are... Where are... Here we are. 
light. <laughs> Everybody gets set on fire in this, in the TV shows. So, I mean, you got to have a lot of red top loaders. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I need more Red Bull in life. That's my problem here. That is what we were actually just ripping. So, Ramsey's just hit this in his pack. There's a guaranteed autograph in every single pack. Yep. Auto in every pack. This is the last one we hit. Nice little carry Ingram. There's a chance at your numbered cards. This is a red out of 50. Oh, red ribbon on the first purchase. Noise. All right. We got the last two packs of this box. It is, isn't it? Every single pack has a guaranteed auto. Coming in on the right for red ribbon. Good luck. Yeah, this is... Super premium. Super beautiful. All right. I'd love to get her auto, too. Come off the back. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. I wish they had a card with him getting his crown. Tell me that wasn't a beautiful scene. Yeah. Yeah, it's back there. Look at that. Marjorie is. There is no question at all. Appreciate that follow, E-Man. All right, we got meeting Jon Snow. Pinnacle. Look at that. That's that's cool. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Had to have, right? All right. What you thinking, Celos? Who you thinking? <laughs> Samuel Tarley. Yes, John Bradley. This has been an amazing box so far. Thoroughly enjoyable. Coming in on that Night's Watch. Look at him go. So, that is one of the things about your Rittenhouse set. They're, the colors do mean something. So, if we look at the checklist, and I can pull that up here in a second. The autographs are not numbered. They don't have any auto numbered autos. They all go by rarity. That's a, that's a sick card. Let me get these uh, all sleeved up real quick so they're nice and safe for you, Red Ribbon. Because even the base cards, I mean, mostly you're chasing after the auto and a numbered card, but these things are still absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Yep. Oh no, there's a uh, there's five autographs per box. Oh, what'd you get, Celos? I was looking at them. I have definitely been looking at them. <laughs> Let's see for a full box red ribbon. I can do three fifteen for a full box, and that'll be ten dollars off of instead of just buying a full five packs <clears throat> yeah you get what five scarce autos in them in the incentive box i was looking at one literally just like two days ago going man i want to buy one and rip one <laughs> but i didn't
Yeah, we'll do that. I'll put them in the um I'll put them in the for 310 red ribbon. I just got to get my fingers to work on this daggone thing. <laughs> five autographs per box there's five packs per box and a guaranteed auto in every single pack this is the last pack of our first box that we've ripped we hit a samuel tarley so far we hit a tormund giants bane these are 2023 Crazy J. We've hit two numbered, but we hit a Carrie Ingram. Nice little Baratheon. There's our Tormund. I say our, like I'm, I have it. It's DKBs. I'll pull up the checklist. We can uh, run through it. We hit a out of 75 canvas. And a little grin. I'm hoping so, Alex. I'm always hoping so. All right, uh, cardboard connection. If not, we'll have 11 more boxes to go. So this isn't a specific, um, like a specific season. It's kind of throughout all of it. So you got like the saga of Ned Stark, the saga of Daenerys Targaryen. Looking at average of one card per pack. Not bad. You got sketches. Those are big ones. Amelia Clark, I'd say, is probably your biggest chase. Yep, there are numbered cards also, Crazy J. You can hit numbered cards. Um, you can hit one of ones like a metal um, parallel one of one. <clears throat> That's the incentive. All right, Red Ribbon. Let's looks. It's a really big checklist for signers. So we'll rip this pack and we'll look through it. We'll look through and see what we got coming in. Good luck, Red Ribbon. The sketches. Last auto of this box. Ooh, Owen Teal. <laughs> Sir Alistair Thorne. What a complete jerk. Hell of a character, though. Hell of a character. Training the Night's Watch. He had life going on, didn't he? He had it figured out. Did not like Jon Snow, though. Good night, he didn't. That's a pretty sweet one. I likes it a lot. 
You get all these sleeved up for your red ribbon. <laughs> oh, did it? How did that happen? Still running on YouTube, fine. Well, I'm sleeving them. Is it back? Are we good now? Okay, cool. Well, let's uh, show off your cards, but protected now. <laughs> Got Bron, Tyrion's little buddy. Jamie. Daenerys and little Tyrion. Made it through life very good. The death of Ned Stark. And your autograph, Sir Alistair Thorne. I was over here just a talking away, too. It didn't give me any indication that it froze up. <laughs> I was running my mouth all about some Sir Al Alistair Thorne because he's such a jerk in the TV show. <laughs> so I just sat there and talked to myself for a good little while, huh? Embarrassing. Yeah, Owen Teal. Yeah, I've been watching, um, I've been re-watching the Game of Thrones. And, you know, it's really surprising, like, how quick everything is actually happening throughout. I mean, I just feel like everything was um, more spread out from what I remember, you know? But it's all been, it's all been going super quick. Like, a lot of stuff I thought would happen in, like, season two and three, even though I've seen it all before, I 100% thought, I don't know. In my head, I guess I condensed it or spread it out. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, absolutely, Crazy Jay. I was going to, um, here, I'll run one. I'm going to run one a little bit longer. We're going to look through the checklist while it runs. We'll pick the next box. So we got our Game of Thrones here. Third box down left. Got it. So that's number 15. I'm going to leave it sitting up there right now. Let me get it back over here. I want you to see me grab it. Yeah. 1,579 out of 6,000. You going tonight? Are you going to bed? I can't talk. Talking's for losers. <clears throat> all right ma have fun love you i'll talk to you tomorrow at some point all right so you got um little finger let's look at the so this is what i was talking about when it comes to the rarity key when i was so they don't number their um autographs so this is how they're done your limited's 300 to 500 very limited 200 to 300 extremely one to 200 and scarce is a hundred or less now a hundred or less doesn't really specifically mean that there's a hundred of each one um you can have some that are as low as there's only five signed cards for that one let's see kit harrington you can he's a scarce as john snow there he is right there. So you can hit a Valyrian Steel for Kit Harrington. And then there's some for sale. So I think that's that's the only Kit Harrington autograph that's in the set. Um, we've seen Shireen Baratheon, Samuel Tarley, Jerome Flynn, Jor Mormont. Um, there's, there's just a, a massive amount of signers. Like, this is your autograph set checklist right here. All of this is all autos. Sean Bean does sign in this. Scarce. Um, there are, like I said, there's metal. You can hit a grit. Metal, five, or there's out of 55 of them. I think I've hit one of her autos. Yes, Emilia, Emily or Emilia Clark. I know how the spell check hits. <laughs> Gets me all the time. 
Yes, there are quite a few. They are super, super scarce, though. So, Amelia Clark as Daenerys Targaryen Legacy. It is scarce, so there are a hundred or less. I don't know the exact number. You got a Amelia Clark and Michael Huisman. That's only, there's only 33 of these dual autos. So that's, that's actually the dual auto right there. And this is your base set. Bran Stark, Illyria, Jon Snow, Arya Stark, Jamie, Marjorie, all the big players. Um, you got Gregor Clegane. Gwendolyn Christie's also a really big card in these, so you can get a scarce one of her, you know, Captain Phasma, baby. <clears throat> Tommen, uh, Podrick Payne. Everybody loves Big Pod. Lord Varys. I like hitting Varys autographs. Those things are sweet. Varys was awesome. Melisandre, we hit one of hers last weekend, actually. Bronson Webb is Will. Not really sure who Will is. Quyburn. There's um, Cersei Lannister also signs in all of these. Let's see how many cards she has. We hit a dual auto of hers. Um, maybe she doesn't sign in this one. Lena? I don't remember how to spell her name. <laughs> and then you have your, there's a full set of Dragonglass Acetate character cards. They're all numbered out of 15. If you get um, all of them, you get a Lena Hetty. So it is L-E-N-A. I knew I was spelling it wrong. There we go. So you got a blue, which is extremely limited, legacy, metal, and quotable that comes from Queen Cersei. What's up, Rexy? Welcome in. Back for the heat. Rexy went through a box, like, what was it, two or three weeks ago, Rexy, and nailed absolute everything. She had a uh, printing plate, a yellow one-of-one -one printing plate. And it was, what's up, Team Rockets Hideout? It was Daenerys getting a flower. I have a, I got a picture of it. We got to show it off. <laughs> uh, I got to figure out how to use my cellular device again. <laughs> <laughs> Have you you've gotten that package in by now, right, Rexy? It's been a while, so I'm, okay, cool. <laughs> they are. So here's my one. I think I should have it put in here. You know what? I haven't put it in my one of one folder yet. To the vault. That's the only place for it. As you can tell, we've ripped a lot of Game of Thrones. Like a massive amount of Game of Thrones. There it is right there. Flowers for Daenerys. And I got the dual auto. So that's the dual auto. Varys and Littlefinger that we hit. And then we hit the Tarly ladies. They're somewhere in here. God only knows where they are, though. <clears throat> I got you. Hey, running it at the bottom. I'm sorry. I get excited running my mouth. Look at this, Rexy. See my new, uh, my new packaging I got in just today. I do have two set up. Um, I can run a full... I can run a full box after this if you want. I got them set up starting out at 310 for the full box. So all five packs. I got you. All right. You want pack number three from the top. Let's do it, Crazy J. All five coming out. Well, nope. There was an extra in there. That was the bottom pack. Empty. Empty is all get out. Pack number three, one, two, and 
Trace Amundo. All right. Good luck, Crazy J. Let's see a massive one show up. Yes. I need to pull another sketch card. <laughs> I have two now, Rexy. All right, we'll come off the back. Looks like, uh, all right, we got a little Melisandre. Look at the little baby. Woo. Tell me that isn't a beautiful card. Emerging from the temple. Oh, Lord, look at it. Coming in on another canvas. Another canvas, baby, out of 75. Woo, Catelyn Stark. Okay. All right, MZ, have a good one. Good luck on the stream, man. All right, for the auto. What up, Carlos? Oh, yes. <laughs> Melisandre coming in. The Red Witch. That was a fire first pack for that box. Two big bangers. All right, what number we got here? 25 out of 75 on that canvas. Very nice, Crazy J. Congrats. I just got to go through and... Uh... All right, we'll put, we'll put a white on Catlin. Just because it looks good on that canvas, right? Oh, yeah, that was my favorite part of her, Sam. <laughs> no necklace. You know you got to go red top loader for the, the witch. Very nice hits. First pack magic coming in with the heatness. All right, I'll run that full box. While I sleeve these up. Whew. Nailed her twice in the same box. That's a, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> um, tonight we only have arts and images, Alyssa. <clears throat> Actually taking down that full box. I got you, Crazy J. Yep, I'll run them uh, right after this box. All right. <laughs> Right side box, 3480. Good Lord, you've got some good eyes. Oh, well, welcome into the beautiful Game of Thrones. I got glasses now, so I can also see. <laughs> All right, Rexy, good luck. Let's see it like that last one you nailed. If I can get it open. What up, Chase Durang? Five packs for the spiciness. <laughs> the grit coming off the back. We got Daenerys. What's up, Jenny Love? Slavers Bay. On the red out of 50. Rexy coming in hot immediately. Absolutely immediately with pure heat. That card is absolutely on fire. Look at it. That thing is beautiful. All right. And for our first autograph, 
Ooh, Cersei Lannister? What? What? Lena Hetty coming in. Thank you, Rittenhouse. Rittenhouse is always on absolute fire. You can't hate it. And that's just pack number one. We'll put Cersei in a black top loader for her black heart, of course. She does. She got away with so many things. That's 45 out of 50. Red on red on red. Pure spice. All right, I will sleeve these up in a minute. We'll go ahead and jump into that. Uh, the next ones. <laughs> All right, we got Braun. Old Brawny. Coming off that back. Yara. Nasandi and the Unsullied. The Wolf and the Lion. This is when they uh, get into it right outside the brothel and he gets stabbed in the leg, right? If I'm not mistaken, they spear him. Spear him up good. All right. Woo, Quiburn. Belief is so often the death of reason. Anton Lesser. All right. Coming in right behind the queen. All right, we need the mountain. Or uh, I don't know if the mountain signs in this, honestly. I know Gregor signs in this. It's uh it's going very well so far. Clyburn the mage as he was considered. Little finger come off the back. Nice. Elaria Sand. I never remember her name. It's a beautiful card though. Little finger Daenerys and a little baby dragon. Chained up dragon, a simple toast. Seeing a lot of Daenerys there. <laughs> That's a sweet one. That is a sweet ass night's watch right there. James Cosmo. Lord Jor Mormont. Very nice hit. Oh, oh. I knew we were going to... There's so many Night Watch. I knew I was going to run out of black top loaders that I already had open. It was guaranteed. But we're always prepared. I think I have a full case of black top loaders. <laughs> Don't take no chances. All right, we still got two packs to go. You're going to be able to man the entire wall. There he is. There he is. They got a picture of his good side. I like his scarred visage a little bit better, personally. Coming off the back, got the reek. What's up, C7? Little Theon. Ooh, what do we got here? What do we have here? Oh, Tormund Giants Bane? On the auto, do I got, I don't have it upside down. All right, all right, little King Tommen. That right there is sick. Yeah, nobody can stand Tommen. I like Tommen a lot more than I liked uh, Joffrey, of course. He is a pawn. Hey, he had Marjorie, though, so good on him. 
numbered out of 75 dude that is that is sweet i honestly i'm not gonna lie this is the first time i've seen this rendition of the insert yeah that was actually the case topper for this case that thing's wild uh he's got he's got the red nog oh you have the full set very nice that's the first one i've gotten all right we got one more pack to roll uno mas let's see the excitement the spiciness the happiness We've been nailing them so far. Come on, Danny. Uh huh. Uh huh. We got a blue coming back. Got Ned. What was his name? I cannot bring it out. Dario. I think I remember. I always think of Dario when I see the name. Ending in Quarth. Hey, babes. Visit from Littlefinger. Last auto. Little baby Ned Stark. It's baby Ned. Look at the little fella. Being all young and cute and still have his head attached. That's cool. Yeah, you, you slept through that episode. He's dead now. Yeah. Did you see it? I didn't see it. Oh, you just caught up on it, ish. Yeah, I think the uh, first two packs really nailed that one personally. That last pack was good with that. Crazy Jay's got a gut feeling that right there. That is a sweet little uh, numbered card. James Cosmo, we got the choir burn. Whew, that first pack was on fire. God knows. Absolute excitement. All right, Crazy J, <laughs> you know nothing. You know, I actually bought a Jon Snow shirt four ripping cards and totally forgot about it until right when you said that i'm wearing it currently <laughs> totally forgot about it <laughs> it's my good luck for the i want to pull that kit harrington he's got to show up can you um label this rexy yep. for me Oh, I'm wearing it right now. The luck is on. Let's go in that box. I'll show you. Oh, I was going to take a picture. <laughs> I can just turn the camera on because oh. I'm fancy like that. Let's see if I can get it to line up right. Oh, it's there's so much light. Well, that's not going to work. Here's my gray shirt, guys. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> my gray shirt. <laughs> I got a picture of it somewhere. I took a picture without me wearing it. <clears throat> All right. Um, let me run this for you. The chopper hoarder. <laughs> All right. Edit. Minus three. Dumb. <clears throat> Kit Harrington has a pet. I'm interested where you're going with this. Kit Kat. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, this is for these four packs for you. You were asking about Crazy J. Mm. He's got a feeling there's going to be a sketch. Did I show y'all my sketches? Me feel. Oh, yeah. So that's my two sketches that I have. The eerie and then my ghost. 
I got a lot of Game of Thrones cards. <coughs> <coughs> for this set, yeah, you get a, it's either a sketch for the case hit, a one of one metal card, and then there's something else that you could possibly get. Yeah, I honestly don't have a price for the sketch. I haven't, I mean, I don't have a clue what I'm going to ask for it or if I'm ever even going to get rid of it because, I mean, it's a ghost. All right, Crazy Jay, good luck. Let's pull you a sketch. Let's get some heat. <laughs> Ooh, look at her. Little Aria. Dude, she was an absolute badass. Am I right? Absolutely amazing. I didn't like her in the, like, when she first showed up in the show, I was like, oh, God, who's this little brat? And then she just, just kept getting better. Little birds everywhere. All right, coming in for the autograph. There you go. Samuel Tarley's girl. Not really considered a wildling, right? But still kind of like a wildling. North of the wall type. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I think she's... She's kind of ginger. We'll give her a red. This is more like a bond. Oh, the black and gold. We hit, I can't remember his name. Yeah, I got him for 310 a box. I'm running the packs for 65 each. All right, Crazy J. There he is. We're getting a little bit closer to his real face. They still took a picture of his, mostly his good side, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got the queen. The hound. Ironborn allies. That was his name. Finn. Fine. I don't know how to say it. Death of Missandei. <laughs> All right, who we got? Paul K. Thoros of Mir. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a box, huh? Just the PK. That's a cool one. That's a cool one. Cool. On numero trace. There's everybody's favorite. Lord Joffrey. Jamie. Got some Lannisters showing up. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, Crazy Jay. Daenerys. Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea. Look at her. The seed is strong. Ooh. Ooh. King Aerys Targaryen the second. Holy shit. Definitely gets a black. The Mad King. Actually, no, he needs a fire. He gets the red. Burn them all. Burn them all. All right. I got to look that up because... um. Yep. Full bleed, that's what this thing's called. It is a limited auto. That is a very, very sweet hit. That is, that thing is sweet. <laughs> Literally just bid on one. It's all about timing. All right, Crazy J. Togarashi Slim. 
That was fun to say. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we got something massive coming. We have got something absolutely massive coming. I don't think you're feeling crazy, Jay. Oh my God. If it comes sleeved, it's huge. It's not even the auto. And I saw the edge. I synced it with my eyes. All right. Oh, God knows. I didn't think the auto was going to do it. But damn. We got the hound coming in. Do you see this, though? Dragon glass. Whew. Four out of 15. The dragon glass acetate. That is massive. What a pack. Good night. We spoke that one into existence. I'm just talking about how great she was. And the hound. Sandor showing up. The spice. She gets a lot. And that's how you know Rittenhouse actually cares about their sets because when they put a massive hit in there, it comes pre-sleeved. I got to change the sleeve out, though. Just because you can see how the corners get a little bent up being in that pack. It's not the card that got bent up, though, because they sleeved it. What? They used some intelligence? Tell me their quality control isn't the absolute best that is a massive massive card right there good lord you just nailed life <laughs> look at those hits Four packs of godliness right there. Congratulations, Crazy Jay. Your wallet is no longer crying nearly as much. That is unreal. The Red Witch did start it. As long as she keeps her necklace on, I think we're okay. <laughs> Got it. Good Lord. I'll tell you what's going to happen, though. Oof. You know what? I'm putting the uh, sand door up there first. I think he would have been a good king, so we'll put him on the Iron Throne. Got to make sure it's in the bag, though. Bam. Front and center. I just hit my toe. That kind of sucked. Uh, I gotta make sure I go back down to... There we go. All right. We'll be uh, starting up a new box next. That was wild. Those past two boxes have been absolutely massive. Can they only get better from here? I do believe so. All right, let's, I got to look at that acetate card on the checklist. <coughs> I was just looking at it a second ago. Google it. <laughs> Graded video games. That's what you're going to start hitting up? Or do you already collect them? What up, fish boy? Dragon glass. That's the one. Yeah, there's only 15 of those dragon glass cards. <laughs> Thank you. 
That is crazy. Yeah, so the sketch card is average one out of three cases. Your dragon glass, there are only 15 of each of those inserts. I'm trying to figure out. So there's 24 different acetate character cards, and there's only 15 of each one. I got to get a calculator for that. So there's only 360 dragon glass acetate cards. If you get all 24, you can redeem them for a dragon glass Lena Hetty autograph acetate card. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> what do we got? Thumbprint. My thumbs up. Let's do this. My thumbs up. See what shows up. <clears throat> Whew. Can't believe we hit a Sandor also. Oh man, that would be really cool. A 77 uncut sheet. I see them all the time and I'm like, man, that would be awesome to have like up on the wall. <laughs> I forgot I was going to show off my Jon Snow shirt as a picture so that people could actually see it. Yeah, there it is. That's the one I'm wearing. You just couldn't see it when I flipped the camera around because the light's too bright. And it's got his little uh, wolf fur all along the side. I bought that one, and then I also bought a Darth Maul. Because I'm fancy like that. And hopefully my Collector Bees shirts will be showing up sometime soon. Fresh merch. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a great name though like 30 letters long 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 way <clears throat> i'm sometimes really good at remembering stuff other times i'll totally forget and within like three seconds ow my knee What is that one? Oh, got the kids uh... What up, Cams? A1 sauce. Saucy. <laughs> so I'm on season two of my rewatch of Game of Thrones. And this is my wife's first time actually watching the show. Every once in a while, I'll slip up and call you Thor. Very rarely, but <laughs> it's always C7 when you come in here. As long as I pay attention, you know how it is. I get to talking sometimes and I pay zero attention to what I say. It's a real problem. The whole diarrhea of the mouth thing. It's a life skill. <laughs> You're welcome. The C7 PTSD. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> this is the only song I've ever heard by Big X The Plug. All right, Rexy, have a good one. Good luck on whatever massive breaks you're about to hit in. <coughs> What's up, Chef PJ? But uh, Big X The Plug, anytime I hear this song, I immediately think it's Slim Thug. Sounds just like him to me. I love Slim Thug, right? Slim Thug was awesome back in the day. I don't listen to overly much rap music. But on occasion, 
on my ride into work. I got an hour and a half to kill, so I got to listen to something. That's when that uh, Pandora thumbprint radio really comes in handy, and it just throws the most random stuff in at me. <laughs> What's up, clone? What up, Sandy? Eat a kid, Publix. How y'all doing tonight? Hey, hey, Ron. I know you hear that a lot. What's up, B-Moon? Got a lot of Game of Thrones running. There's also a good assortment of different Star Wars. I got uh, Bounty Hunters boxes. I got Obi-Wan, Book of Boba Fett. Full tens, full hobbies, or buy the pack. Game of Thrones, guaranteed autograph per pack. I'm doing awesome today, Eda Kid. How you doing tonight? We have pulled some absolute heat from Game of Thrones so far. So I'm doing fairly well. It's been very exciting. I don't like this song. My daughter got a hold of my Pandora and hit some hit some thumbs up on it and I don't know all of them. What's up, Georgie? So I definitely do not like Nicki Minaj. Sorry if you're a Minaj fan, but I'm not a fan. I like NF though. Where is my charger? The charger. <clears throat> I'm thinking we're going to hit a really big auto out of this case. <laughs> I'm thinking Jon Snow, Daenerys, or Brienne of Tarth. That's my top three autos that I want to pull. It was Sandor. We got him. Who doesn't want to see a Sandor come out, though? Everybody loves the Hound. He's ugly as sin, but what a great character. He had a really good character arc, too. From where he started, what he turned into, absolutely crazy. What's up, Johnny? How you doing, Force Finds? Gangachu. Dang. The whole gang of them. I actually sold a um, Neo Revelations Houndoom today. PSA 5. I had the guy arguing with me for quite a while through On the Bay trying to talk me down and once I told him my bottom price he declined it and I was like all right well that's, that's cool because I don't have to sell it this is a pretty good price for it and he was like all right I'll take it I'm like, come on man just uh why make it complicated <laughs> if you want the card get the card if you don't don't it's that simple <clears throat> I'm definitely not here to pressure you into buying it. So if you don't want it, just don't buy it. But I'm also not going to take a massive loss on what the card's worth. Most of the time. Sometimes I absolutely will. Like when I get a Super 101 and put it in a mystery bag for 60 bucks. That's always a massive loss. But it's fun. So what's everybody getting into tonight? Y'all got work tomorrow? Because it is 9.19 here. I'm usually in bed two hours ago. I was up at 3 a.m. to go to work this morning. And good lord. It was a long ass week. Oh, that is a... Uh... What does OPP mean? Chinese Communist Party? That's terrifying to see on the YouTube. <laughs> Once again, I forgot to look at the YouTube because we're ripping so many packs and it's hard to pay attention to everything I'm supposed to be paying attention to. So far, we've had two comments on the YouTube live because we're always live on YouTube when I'm live on whatnot. Same name on YouTube, Collector Bees. But we had a uh, Super Collector Clark bid us good morning from japan 
And then we got Chinese Communist Party wrote OPP. What does OPP mean? Does anybody know? Yeah, you know me. Other people's property. Yeah, you know me. There we go, Force Finds. <clears throat> huh. I guess a Communist Party would, I mean, that's usually what it comes down to for communism, right? Other people's property? Is that how communism? I'm not very good at government or geography. I was never good at either one of those. I'm extremely ignorant when it comes to both of those, unfortunately. <laughs> What's up, Ridleyer? We were talking about my YouTube channel, the people that jumped up. Um, Which portion, Johnny? So are you new to whatnot? Or are you just asking about like these shows specifically? Because I can ramble on about both of those for like 30 minutes. <laughs> new to whatnot. All right. So it really works out however you want it to work out. Um, so basically this is like a live eBay. So congratulations. And if you fall in love with any type of card or any other type of thing, because people sell everything on whatnot, I feel bad for your wallet, like mine. <clears throat> with this show specifically tonight, we're doing Game of Thrones and Star Wars. So I got a, a couple different different types of Star Wars cards. Um, you can buy it by the full box. You can buy it by the pack. We'll, you buy a pack, you buy a box, we can open it for you. <clears throat> no, so um, I'm not doing any breaks. I am doing, so you buy the actual pack itself. So like this one right here, they bought the, Ramsey's bought a pack and I opened it up for them. And this is what they hit. Nice out of 50. And a Carrie Ingram auto. So the Game of Thrones set. It's five packs per box, and it's five guaranteed autos, one autograph per pack. A lot of big hits in there. You can pull sketches. You can pull a lot of huge autos. Daenerys, Amelia Clark signs in it. Um, we hit a Sandor Clegane earlier. We also have, so you could buy a full box of Bounty Hunters, and it's a ripper ship totally up to you. Um I prefer that it's ripped because I really like seeing what comes out of them. Or you can buy it by the pack. They're all set up in the buy it now. We have Book of Boba Fett 10s. Yep. So I run the Game of Thrones. I'm running as auctions just so it goes a little slower for me because these things usually, if I have it in the buy it now, it, it like shoots up pretty quick and I get lost easily. <clears throat> but yeah, you can look in the shop and the buy now. And that is all the stuff that you can purchase right off. Um, it'll tell you if it's one hobby pack or if it says a hobby tin, you get the entire tin. We can open the whole thing for you. We opened up an Obi-Wan Kenobi tin earlier. The It should say one pack ripped or yeah, one hobby pack for an Obi-Wan for a Book of Boba Fett. Both of those you can purchase as the entire hobby box. You get a guaranteed auto in each of those. The, uh, this one right here. Are you into Star Wars or into Game of Thrones the most? Either or card. So this set right here, I absolutely love. It's one of my top sets. A lot of people aren't the biggest fans, but I love it. Because you got two guaranteed hits per box. You get a guaranteed autograph. Star Wars greater than Game of Thrones. I got you. I So I just recently got into the Game of Thrones cards. I, of course, I read all the books growing up, watched all the TV shows. I have every bit of it. Star Wars, hands down my favorite cards to open. But like this one right here, like I said, you get one guaranteed auto, and then you get a secondary hit, which is either a patch, a sketch. It's a very sketch-heavy set, or you can. we've had some that have a second autograph in there. 
pretty cool. We got Spark of Rebellion also. If you're into that new TCG, these are also in the buy it now. This is my last box from the case. And I'll tell y'all, we did not hit a showcase out of this case. I don't know the exact uh, things. <clears throat> Just see packs for bounty hunters. So here you go. I'll pin them up. So they'll be at the bottom. So right down here, that's one book of Boba Fett pack. This is one Obi-Wan Kenobi pack. I got those tins laying around here somewhere. So this is a, ten, a full tin that was purchased by E-Man. He wanted it shipped sealed. We ripped one. He's shipping one sealed. Or I can pop open a tin. If you buy a pack, I'll pop open a tin. You can pick whichever pack out of that tin you want. <clears throat> no, the pack is one pack. So if you purchase one pack, like this one right down here, I'll open the tin and you pick whichever pack you want out of that tin. That way, I mean, you could get the autograph in the very first pack. You can hit a numbered card in your very first pack and the rest of that box is most likely just dead packs. <coughs> These right here. So here's the Boba Fett Hobby tin. So this is the entire tin right here. You get every pack in there. Yeah, you can buy the entire Bounty Hunter box. It is a pricey set. So this is the Bounty Hunter Hobby box right here. And I have this one, and I think I have nine more of these sitting off behind me somewhere. Yeah, they're back there in the box. What is up with my internet today? It is being non internet -y. Bounties Hunter said, like I said, it's, oh, I got you. <clears throat> it can be kind of hard. It, it, it takes a little bit to get used to the mechanics or whatnot. I'll tell you, it is a hundred. I don't know if you've ever been on drip, but the mechanics of whatnot, 10 times better. I tried to stream on drip and like, even like as a streamer, I couldn't figure out how to set up auctions and it would do like fire sales out of nowhere. And I was like, what is going on? So I completely nixed that and said, no, nah, I'm good. We're sticking to whatnot. <clears throat> because forget all that mess. I think that's all the... Uh... I have some singles also. I didn't load any of those in the store because I don't really like top loading my store very much. Because then it just gets confusing trying to look through everything. <clears throat> but yeah, if you hit the buy it now... You will purchase whatever you hit buy it now on. I mean, one book of Boba Fett pack coming in. All right, let me get a fresh tin. We'll pop her open. Let me unpin the. Oh, it won't let me, will it? Well, dang. First purchase on whatnot with the collector bees. Hopefully, we're about to hit you something massive then. Let's see an uh, Ewan McGregor or a Hayden Christensen auto sh show up. Or a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see a one-of-one. One <laughs> There'd be a lot of ones coming in there. All right, so there's our uh, box number. One, two, one, seven, seven, five. That's a lot of numbers. They also don't usually matter. <laughs> I just like reading them off. Extra good luck to you. All right, so they come with seven packs. So one through seven. Pick whichever pack you want. Number four. So what is your favorite Star Wars set, Johnny? One, two, three, and four. Do you have a top? And why is it Masterworks? <laughs> Mine's definitely... What? No way. All right. Good to know. Who's your favorite character? All right, we're coming in with Kenobi Defeated. So these are your, your lower-end, cheaper-type sets. These are Boba Fett. All right, cool. Con Artist. We got Ohaja, the fake Jedi. Tell me that isn't a beautiful Obi-Wan card. Holding the ocean at bay. 
Haja on our heroes insert. We got a little concept art. We got the third sister. And then we have Obi-Wan Agano. Now, give me a second. Let me, uh, let me look through something here. I got a massive amount of stuff. All right. It's your first purchase with me. Not only is it your first purchase with me, but it's your first on whatnot. So I'm going to throw you in. So this is a chrome card. This is the armor from the Mandalorian chrome Beskar. Nice little refractor insert. We got a Masterworks Boba Fett. This is the 2022. That, yeah, 2022. It came out in 23, but it is the most brand new Star Wars set we've got. So there's a nice little Boba Fett card. And I'm going to throw in a uh, Bounty Hunters pack for you. Let's see if we can get you a number. First time he purchased on whatnot at all. Sweet. So that's super cool. All right, Bounty Hunters coming in. Let's see some color. Maybe just a blue. All right, we got Seri Pass. Boba Fett on the blue. That couldn't have worked out better, right? This is a non-numbered. It's kind of like your uh, refractor. But, hey, it's Boba Fett. IG-88. Battle 1 R2. Got a little Ahsoka right there. And Mando. So I'm going to send all of that to you. I'm going to sleeve your boba because everybody loves their first PC character hit, no matter what it is. Sounds good. Sounds good. Coming in on a book of Boba Fett this time. I like it. All right, let me uh, pop open the Book of Boba Fett. Oh, you know what? I just realized that last one you bought was a Book of Boba Fett, too. I opened an Obi-Wan. <laughs> so you got a free Obi-Wan pack on top of it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to open two of these for you because that was, uh, yeah, I totally screwed that up. Not paying <laughs> attention. I got excited. First time purchases are cool. <laughs> Now let's see the 101. Yeah, we've been ripping Game of Thrones all night. My brain is completely ruined. And I've been up since 3 a.m., so that's always fun. All right, so you picked four on that one. What was the number you picked on the last one? Was it... Four and two. Okay. So we got two, three, and four. We'll hit something in these for show. Faux show. These are really hard to hit numbers in. But there's a guaranteed auto somewhere in this box. Looks like we got a blue coming in. The Pike Defense. Drash, Scad, and their gang. They were the, to me, they were the worst part of the Obi or the Book of Boba Fett. Still want to say Obi Wan. Good Lord. Brain is mush today. Concept art Garza Sanctuary. Closing in on the train. Newly acquired speeder bikes. The little montage of him teaching the Tuscans how to drive those speeder bikes. Absolutely <laughs> hilarious to me. You watched all of that one, didn't you, babe? I did. Yeah. That was hilarious. Engaging the overdrive. Looks like we might have a concept back there. Boba on the offensive. Finnick and Boba hold court. Jabba's legacy. Got the twins. Got Wart coming in. Aliens and creatures. Nice little Ahsoka. Ahsoka. The final duel. That was a fun one. Cad Bane. Love Cad Bane. 
Cobb Vanth recovering in that back to tank. When are we going to see Cobb Vanth again? Because he's not dead. He's coming back. I wonder if they're going to do like another Boba Fett show, maybe? Like a second season? I don't know. Yeah. The man, well, the, they're coming out with a Mandalorian movie, supposedly. All right, so you got a nice stack of cards coming into you. And welcome to the clan of... Oh, no, I'm broke. This is where we all spend our paychecks now. <laughs> so if you look at the um, top left of your screen, yep, it'll say follow. You just hit that. Now you can turn your notifications on and around um, to where anytime a show comes up, it'll give you a notification. I like to usually post shows. I'll do like a lot of random pop-ups throughout the weekends. I always post my Thursday show at the end of the weekend though. So all throughout the week, you can come in and you can hit save on a show that I have set up. I have a few set up right now. Where's my phone at? Yeah, and after a couple days of using whatnot, you'll you'll figure out all the mechanics of figuring out where to go to find what and how to do about anything. <clears throat> yeah, so if you click on... Yeah, I'm definitely a Darth Maul fa uh, collector, no question. So if you go to my page, this is how it looks. That little button right there is how you bookmark a show on anybody's show, not just mine, of course. And you can just bookmark them like that. It'll give you a notification when the show's like an hour out, 30 minutes out, or uh, when it's just starting. I have all my notifications turned off because I have so many people that I follow and that follow me. Absolutely, Johnny. Absolutely. Appreciate you coming in. <laughs> Yeah, so much auto code goes for. Which? Yeah. Where's that at? Oh. Um, which auto card? That one sitting up there. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one. I have no idea. It was literally just pulled not too long ago. Yeah, autocorrect will definitely get you. Oh, Sandor, Rory McCann. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely a nice hit. It's my jam. <laughs> this is the only song I've ever heard from Lil Baby that I did not completely hate. <laughs> so if you go to 130point.com, that's how I normally comp out all my cards. Let's shuffle. That's not shuffle. I can't listen to it, but for so long I like it, but it just... <laughs> I tried to get on this the other night and it was completely down. Would not let me on. Let's see. Sandor. What game? Alto. So that card you're looking at about 50 to $80. Yeah, it's a. Uh, very nice. Super nice. Definitely a bunch of different types of autos you can get from them. Yeah, your biggest ones in Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah? So I didn't know they had cards until I went into an LCS local to here. And I saw they had a box, like it was last year, they had just come out. 
So I bought a box and immediately fell in love. What's up, Andex? It has been a beautiful set to rip. They're, they have quite a few different sets. Some more expensive, some less expensive. What up, Chaos? Yes. Yeah, there's like your inflections. You're looking at about 500 for a hobby box as far as uh, the Game of Thrones goes. There are, if you get an incentive box, like Celos was in here talking about it earlier. So what Rittenhouse did is for people that went in and bought 12 cases, you got an incentive box, which had five um, super, super rare autos. Like that's where your Daenerys is probably sitting right now. And then there was a bunch of other, you like, you got a full metal card set of the entire base set. And there was a couple other things that you could get out of them. But of course, you know, DA Card World, um, Steel City, Blowout, they all went in there and they bought up all the product. So they got all the incentive boxes also. Not only that, but I mean, who's going to go in there and spend, you know, $30,000 on 10 cases or 12 cases is how many you had to get. That's a lot of money. What's up, Joe Padilla? Appreciate the follow, Johnny. It just came through. <laughs> <coughs> you want to re-red bull at me? I'm thirsting. Should be grabbing a water, but who needs intelligence, right? So have you done any uh, TCGs, Johnny? Or are you, what's up, obnoxious? Appreciate that follow, bud. Or is like this your like first jump into... Oh... So this is literally like your first time getting into cards. Oh man, you just ruined your life. <laughs> so for your name, I don't know, I haven't changed mine in such a long time. I'll show you though. I think you go down to settings. Hmm. <laughs> oh that does say oh i totally did not notice it's a good one no that's not the right button it's it's somewhere in your settings for sure appreciate the follow edisey totally thought we already followed each other but yeah somewhere up in here you click on those little things and it's one of these mine's all a little bit different compared to yours is going to be what's up jade kgb han jack <laughs> oh force finds <laughs> papa dog how's everybody doing tonight looks like most of the people that i just said hey to left immediately but <laughs> i can't keep up with it Ooh. All right, so oh, I got stuff laying all over here. So there's five packs in each box. You get a guaranteed auto. Oh. oh, so you click on your profile and hit edit profile. Nice. Number three. Let me make sure that it was Book of Boba Fett. <laughs> yep, Book of Boba Fett. All right. One two and trace for the jade minted good luck auto is still live in this box hopefully not for long like right now let's see all right got a little ming na win yeah it sounded asian when i said that nailed it looks like we got a purple parallel flight test little baby grogu oh, he's so cute Coming in on the twins for the insert, non-numbered. Seismic charge. Mando. I also just bought a little uh, fleece zip up that looks just like that. I bought a 2XL because I thought I was fat. I was wrong. Their 2XL 
is way bigger than most other 2XLs. <clears throat> Obi-Wan pack coming in next. Auto is also live in that set. Number five. Let me get your name on this bag. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's see a medallion card. Let's see me get this pack open. Good lulls. Everybody look away while I fight this. Embarrassing. What's up, Jade? Different type of Jade. That one's got a Y in it. Clone Trooper. Veteran. That's what I look like first thing in the morning, but not as pretty. Fifth Brother coming in. Look at him. On the blue parallel. Beru on the insert. Reva on the other insert. Big old palp. He's a real pal. Return of an old friend and Fortress Vader. All right, Johnny. Book of Boba Fett pack coming in for you. Me pick. No bueno. All right, we got one, two, three, four. This one's sticking up, so we're going to do that one. That's two. Pretty good at numbering. Jade Minted here is also a Star Wars streamer up here. So if you click on her name, you can also follow her. She does a lot of breaks. I thought I had this one opened all fancy and it was going to be cool, but I still messed it up. Because that's my skill. Boba Fett's Vision. Got the old tree. Boba Fett surrounded. So all them ninjas came in after him. Garza Flip. 8D8's briefing. Ooh. Ooh. We got something. We got something spicy coming in for Johnny. All right. Max Rebo. Nobody really cares about these back cards anymore. Because, uh, look at that. Out of 50, Twi'lek server. Well, it is still a gold autograph. and That thing is sweet. You know, I also thought it was damaged at first because the way the corners look. But nope, that is just the design. 23 out of 50. Very nice hit. Andrea Bartlow. Yeah, I nailed it. Totally nailed it. Usually that's not the case. I usually have very bad chances at picking everything. Red sounds good. Do the old red top load of four. It doesn't say anything. Hmm? <sighs> Woman. Congratulations, Johnny. First auto hit. Put them over there. Oh, yep, I did. That's why I keep you around. That's why I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't keep up with life at all. Nailed it. All right, so auto is no longer live in those. Let's see if I can keep stacking stuff up and it not falling down. Auto is still live for the Obi Wan. And we don't have an open box of bounty hunters. And I think we're caught up. What's up, James Rocket? Ooh, Demon Lord Uzgore. I like when he comes in just because I like saying hey to his name. Mm -hmm. Bagsy. Oh, uh, BBC Collectibles down there. He just joined. He is also a streamer. Give him a follow. He does some really cool, like, repack wheel spins. Always fun. What's up, Ken? I just stare at that for a second. Totally forgot what I was doing. Oh, Pandora went full country there, didn't it? <clears throat> we hit a uh, Sandor Clegane. We had a lot of really good stuff, Bagsy. 
and then not only that, but hold on, look at this one. We hit a dragon glass acetate. Rihanna Mormon. Whew. That's numbered out of 15. It's definitely a way bigger hit, but I'm more excited about the Sandor. The Hound. <laughs> Full box of Game of Thrones. I've been running for 310. That's all five packs. So it's a good amount cheaper compared to buying it by the pack. If you buy all five. <laughs> but yeah, pinned up down there. I've been running those at an auction. We've sold one full box for 310. And like I said, I've been running the full or one pack for 65 each. There is a guaranteed autograph in every single pack. And then there's just some other crazy stuff you can hit. Numbered cards, sketches, random dragon glasses, one-on-one metal cards. It is very high quality set. My mouth's all dry from running my mouth. <laughs> my mouth's dehydrated from being used. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's, um, the big thing about this set is it is a guaranteed autograph in every single pack. Of course, you have bigger autos. Like, if you hit the Daenerys, that's a massive hit. Kit Harrington. So, you know, Amelia Clark, Game of Thrones, and Star Wars autos. So those things go for a, a very high price. Uh, if you hit the brand of Tarth, you're also looking at, technically, it's a Captain Phasma auto. Also fetches a very high price. And they're very hard to hit. There are cheaper sets of Game of Thrones, and I've ran those quite often. Packs are 65 each. So this is the cheaper set. I usually run these packs at 16 each when I have them. Obviously, you can tell they don't look nearly as good as your arts and images set. This is what we're running right now. This is what we were running, what, last weekend? No, this is the weekend before. Last weekend, we did the, uh, it was these, which these were. Pretty close to the same price per box, but there's only two autos per box. <clears throat> same people <laughs> yeah, it's a smaller set for sure. Still really fun to rip. I really enjoyed it just because the different hits, like the box hits were really cool in them. <clears throat> <clears throat> I will say definitely since you're uh, new to whatnot, I always tell all the new whatnotters the same thing. Definitely pay attention because you can it can get away from you extremely quick hitting that like bid button or hitting the buy now button. Always uh, bid and purchase responsibly. <laughs> my mom. When, my yep. Mom. <laughs> as soon as she got up here, she would come in. She watches the streams all the time. She hangs out and she started going into other people's streams and buying stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, opening packs of cards is definitely a huge gamble. Oh, she went to bed. She's old and she has to work in the morning. Let's look at, uh, what's up, Lady J? Hey, Hassie, if you're awake also. <laughs> Uh, so here's some of the other sets that you can actually hit a lot of stuff. I'm doing awesome. How are you doing, Lady J? So this is your top's finest set. Sketches. This is all Star Wars right here, obviously. Ooh, making a pizza. Little Bean. How's Bean doing? That's your niece, correct? Look at that one. 
Fennec Shand out of 25. Woo wee. This is where the gamble really pays off. It's very rare that it does pay off, though. I'll tell you that. This is my um, upcoming mystery bags. All of this stuff will be in them. I can't wait. That's a big one. This is an out of five silver frame from Masterwork. This is like your most premium Star Wars set Masterworks. Other than, you know, Galaxy. 21 Galaxy is very high up there. This one, your Star Wars Legacy, also a very premium set. Uh, out of 25 and a Gem Mint 10. Sheesh. Love it. Welcome back, Ramses. I don't know if you ever left, but... Sketchers are definitely my favorite thing in every set that I've ever ripped. They don't get more exciting than sketches for me. I got my two Game of Thrones sketches right there. Got the Eerie. Absolutely, Johnny. And then I got Ghost. Yeah, your sketches. So these are hand-drawn. They send blank cards to the artist. The artist will draw a whole bunch of different little scenes or different characters, something of that nature. They send them back to the company. So they'll send, like this one is a Rittenhouse. So they send it back to Rittenhouse and they randomly insert them in packs. It is absolutely crazy to me. That's why it's my favorite. And we do have quite a few artists that actually hang out on whatnot, like uh, Josh Trout. He's a, an amazing artist. He did his first year or his first set in Star Wars. Yep, Ian McKesson. He does a lot of streams where and you can actually watch him do some of his sketches. He's doing a lot of wood burning now. So those are really cool. Um, did you did Sam show you the wood burn one he got from Ian McKesson? Uh -uh. Oh man. I'll show it to you. I sure did not. How's more important? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this, it is crazy. Like, Ian absolutely killed this thing. I got to figure out how to utilize my phone. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> like, like a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's, that's right. Isn't it? That's so cool. That is awesome. Yeah, he sent him a picture and said he had it done in like two or three days. Wow. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. That is sweet. Ooh, there's a lot of... What up, Morbid? Yeah, Two Lady Jedi's here. You can tell it's... Is right. also a streamer, so definitely give them a follow. They are absolutely awesome. They're the ones that take a lot of my uh, mother's money. <laughs> <laughs> I got your package in today, too, Lady J. I've only pulled these three out so far. Tell them. That's your mama, too. <laughs> <laughs> she hangs out in their stream more than she hangs out in mine now <laughs> these are the disney pre-release cards two lady jedis and hassie run these quite often I, we're getting kind of low on product that they can actually purchase on that but it's still pretty cool you get a really nice box along with it you can hit some all kinds of crazy stuff yeah the virtual adoption <laughs> precisely what she happened did. she does that she likes to randomly pick up people yep i was dropping off kira and <laughs> she was doing dishes and watching them <laughs> i watch zero sports so i it, i don't even know what's going on is it baseball or like is basketball happening right now it's not football right now is it football season no yeah, it's baseball and I don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> I have zero idea. March oh, Madness. Uh, yeah, that makes total sense. I've heard of March Madness. I have never watched a basketball game in my life. Tar Heels lost to NC State. Oh, I used to play basketball in the trailer park. <laughs> I tore all the ligaments in my left ankle because of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I used to watch football growing up. I played football for like uh, school and everything. 
And I mean, I, I used to watch it all the time. My mom was really into it. And then honestly, it was the fans that made me quit watching it. Like, I just don't like the thought process behind the way it, it works. Oh yeah. Yeah. She, uh, she was a Washington Redskins fan, which of course made me a Dallas Cowboys fan. Not that I actually cared. I just like doing the one that she hated, <laughs> but you know, it was just growing up listening to everybody talk about the sports and I'd go to school and I'm like, Oh yeah, you know, that was a really cool game. And you know, so-and-so did really cool. And they're like, Oh yeah, you're not even, you're not even a real fan. Cause you don't know how many passing yards they had. And I'm like, why the hell would I know that? <laughs> like, I don't care about any of that. <clears throat> nice. Yeah. I never knew my father. <laughs> that was pretty good, wasn't it? Sounded yeah. just like him. Mm -hmm. I've been practicing in the mirror. Now that I have glasses and I can see. <laughs> oh, it's me. <laughs> Look how good I am. <laughs> Call me Bruce. Ow. I am totally going to knock that thing down here in a minute. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be super upset that I didn't move it. And you know what? I'm not going to move it. You got mad at it and put it up there. Yeah. It was in the way. I, I need to plug it up because I got the cable for it. Sitting in there on the table. Just lazy. Tasty. Absolutely, man. Absolutely, anytime. That guy's gonna have an awesome card collection in like three months. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the uh, first time buyer's luck, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's just like when Boba Freak first got up here and hit the mystery bags, was pulling super fractors, mm -hmm. and good lord. What's up, SW Collecting? Yeah, it's it's honestly amazing like how those first time buyers do it. It's a special skill. I wish I could go back and be a first time buyer again. I didn't have all that great luck when I was though. <laughs> What's crazy is most of them come in and like they they hit all these really big hits and but they're always chasing something that they never hit like um you know the the one guy chasing a sketch he'll hit like a one on one super fractor or you know a really cool printing plate a Hayden Christensen auto and he's like damn it all I want is a sketch <laughs> and it's like good yeah, lord yeah maybe that is it what's up florida picker Maybe we should get a whole bunch of different um, accounts and we can get that first time buyer look. Ain't no Cobb Bant than them or Kersantin. What's up, B Bell? Welcome back, Rexy. Nope. Not a one. I've honestly been running my mouth so much. I haven't even really been running the auctions. I keep forgetting. <laughs> we did some, uh, we hit an out of 50 autograph out of the book of Boba Fett. It was a Twi'lek server, but you know, it's still an out of 50. You know, book of Boba Fett's hard to hit. I think the best card I ever got out of Book of Boba Fett was the Cad Bane Auto, and that was that first 10 we ever ripped of that set so long ago. I sold it on eBay like an idiot. I wish I'd have kept it. Yeah, I definitely think we hit the... Ooh, what was Quill out of? I can't remember what that Quill sketch was. I know we've hit at least one sketch out of Book of Boba Fett before. I have never pulled a sketch out of Obi-Wan. It was supposed to be like the sketch heaviest set of last year, and I've never pulled a sketch. So sad. Never. Never done it. <laughs> I was hoping you didn't hear that. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Oh yeah, from the um from the blasters. Yes. It really was and I don't know. I've seen some really good cards come out of it, but at the same time, the hit the chances of hits is just it's disgustingly bad. It's cool to have a little rip every once in a while. 4881. That's I got a 4481. Yeah, 4481. Is that the one we're looking at? That guy? All right. <laughs> That's oddly specific. <laughs> yeah. I got five on it. Bottom pack. Got you. So there's, they only made 6,000 of these boxes. So each one is numbered. Super premium. All right, that is all those packs. Bottom pack. What am I doing? I, <laughs> I confused nervous. myself. Too many hands. About to mix them up. <laughs> all right, there we go. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, Rexy, good luck. Let's see the Danny. There's something red in there. What is that? That's got to be like some crazy numbered insert or something. Oh, you know what? We got a Valyrian Steel coming out. Valyrian Steel Autograph. This pack is about to be wild. So they have uh, inserts. <clears throat> They're basically um, artist prints. Yeah, we'll, we'll see it in a second. <laughs> I am. All right. We're about to get a crown of gold coming in. Crazy red card. Yes. Yes. Look at it. That is numbered at a 75. They only make 75 of this card. Every one of those inserts, there's only 75. All right. For the Valyrian Steel Auto. Ooh, nice. Edmer Tully. Absolutely. On a nice premium autograph, too. These are normally um, in the very or extremely limited. Of course, your bigger autos, like if you hit a Daenerys Valerian still, there's only like five of them, I think. Um, we'll do black. I got a black right here. So much spiciness. Yeah. And on the spoils of war, 55 out of 75, a little JJ Lindell. Yeah, you got to do the red for that one. Colored top loaders, they make my life happy. That is a sweet ass card. I have two or three different ones of these. I've never pulled the same one twice so far, so that's interesting. That thing is sweet looking. What up, Chef? Chef PJ here is a pretty big Game of Thrones fan. She definitely does look like she's on fire. <laughs> Let's see. Written by... I don't know what all that means. Oh, it's because it's season seven, episode four. That was the actual writers of that episode. I'm tracking. <laughs> I got my life together. It sometimes takes me a second. 
<laughs> Did you hit anything big last week, Chef? All right, let me get these salivated. Very nice hits. The Pop Century comes out in May 2024. Definitely going to be getting a couple boxes of that. I don't think I'm going to get a full case because it doesn't sell all the greatest up here. Oh, well, that sucks. What was your biggest hit? I'll I'll be the decision on whether it was big. <laughs> Get it going in the top. I got to get my stuff figured out again. Too much stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to put more in here in a second. Oh. We just pulled an Alistair Thorn not too long ago. It was pretty sweet. All right, I'll wait for that thing to run out. So we don't rip it and then somebody buy it out from under you when we pull a Daenerys. <laughs> so that would be sadness. What's up, clone captain? All right, there we go. I need more tables. <laughs> Top pack. All right, we got the Giants Bane. Sir Tormund. Viserys, commanding respect in the bamboo forest, the king's justice is when they um, decided they had to murder a lady for the auto of spiciness, Harold Karstark, show some respect, gee whiz. Paul Ratray, what a name. Mm -hmm. Holy cow, that, that had to suck growing up. Or do you think he was one of those guys that uh changed his name. yeah changed his name to this? Rat Ray. Rat Ray. <laughs> I certainly hope he didn't. That was interesting. I mean, I got him on Game of Thrones, so why not? That's a nice signature. Yeah, yeah. the car starks though. That's a nice one. That's fancy. Um, we'll do a white for Mr. Harold here. <laughs> the rat tray. Yeah, I guess that does equal out better, huh? Yep, it's definitely rat tray from now on. <laughs> I like that way more. <laughs> definitely like that more. That's why we keep you around, Lady J. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he does. It's like, um, oh, what's it called? The karate, karate movie that they made a TV show out of. Cobra Kai? Cobra Kai. <laughs> Where he cuts his. It's one of the reasons, and I guess mom likes you, so I can't not like you. <laughs> I don't like
Now, for me, I pull Moses Ingram. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Which a lot of people like Moses Ingram, but I do not like Reva. Like, not a whole lot at all. What's up, Robert Jordan? Robert Jordan, not this guy specifically, oh. but that name is from the Wheel of Time. He's the oh. author who wrote those books. Because he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, so Robert Jordan died. Where is it at? Hold on, I gotta find the right spot. Right there. He died up there? Yeah, wow. right after Knife of Dreams. Because <laughs> the Gathering Storm, Brandon Sanderson took it over. So his last books, all the hardcovers, that's all Brandon Sanderson and Robert Jordan. And then it goes into The Way of Kings, which is what I started reading after I found out Brandon Sanderson's a hell of a good art author. <laughs> Had to jump all over it. Oh, a hundred percent, Rexy. I have a library. You don't know what's behind him. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you what I'm looking at. And I have glasses now, so it it's even better. Oh, nerd. There you go. That's my library. That's the whole wall. wall. It yeah. is just one wall. I got moss walls and the glasses. And if I do this, I gain like 60 years. Oh my God. Woo. Especially with the shiny. It's oh. bad, right? Oh my God. <laughs> We're going to get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding in Cuba? I would totally be cool with that. It's Father Christmas. <laughs> Where are we going, Rexy? <laughs> <laughs> bottom pack yeah can't pull my glasses down like that it doesn't look good the hairline that's funny it is not a good look <laughs> i would definitely be visiting cuba if robert jordan was there i'll send you a ticket in the mail yep oh catlin Cersei, a fool's bargain. The end of Cal Drogo as we know him. King's Landing ablaze. It's going down. What up, Frankie B? And for the Alto, we got a bald nog. Are we about to pull Varys right after Littlefinger? Nope, it's a different bald guy. Mm -hmm. Look at that, the slaver. Krasnus Mo Naklaz. Naklaz. Yeah. Just because I got glasses don't mean I'm smart. <laughs> Can't read. All the books, I just look at pictures. They're all bro. Dan Hildebrand. Hildebrand. There's gotta be there's gotta be a different one. Yeah, I could do that. I usually use that time to uh, sleeve everything. <laughs> this is the last pack of that box. I don't know why I just don't do that every time. <laughs> One day I'll learn All right, come on out, Danny. Come out and hang out. If we pull an Amelia Clark, I'm going to take so many pictures of it with me and my glasses down. <laughs> there is an auto in every pack, Cosman. Every pack guaranteed alto. Tali? No, these are Rittenhouse. These are way better than Tops. Nope, I still got Ghost. Um, I'm, I'm still not sure if I ever want to sell it, honestly. Assassination Attempt. Stark and Blood Loon. Hmm. What we got here? Michael Mc... Elhatton. 
I had to really read that one. <laughs> Got the Bolton. It's loose. It does kind of look like Freddy Krueger, don't he? Robert England. Yeah. Must be his, like, uh, maybe it's his kid. Robert England's got to be old as shit now. No, it's just No way. <laughs> it does look like Freddy Krueger from far away. Yeah, you get it close and you see it's it's not. <laughs> Maybe if I wear my glasses like this. Yeah, that equals out. <laughs> I'm sure we could find one for you. Bruce Bolton. It's a good looking card. I like these gold trim ones. It wasn't Danny. She's got to be showing up. These things are beautiful. <laughs> They're, I don't know. It's just so refreshing that when they, you know, Rittenhouse says, hey, we guarantee an autograph in every pack. I've never ripped a pack that did not have an auto in it. I have never been topsed, and it is, it's a real joy. I've been looking for the Lord of the Rings. Um, Rittenhouse has a couple Lord of the Rings, but they are impossible to find. And then um, there is a, has anybody ever ripped any Cryptozoic? I've never done any of their sets, but they have a good amount of Lord of the Rings. It is, and I love Lord of the Rings. Obviously, you saw my books back there. There's a whole section just for Lord of the Rings with little toys on it. Cause I'm a child. It's nerds for days back here. It is. <clears throat> Got Gollum back there and a statue. Sauron, everybody. Um, all right, which box are we going with? Definitely children. Yeah, we gotta pick a box. <laughs> so we got 5330. We got what is this one? Right in between. This is just 34. 5331. Oh, okay. Written house on the 34. So there's definitely more numbers back here. I just can't read them. All right. We hit the 34. Maybe this is like a tops on the face for Masterworks. See how cool that was? We still go on bottom pack. All right. Come on, Danny. Show yourself. Or Kit Harrington. Or Vis Viserys. So weird pronouncing some of their names. We definitely have a full bleed back there, it's looking like. And it's looking like a super white full bleed. That might be some spice. Got the Dalish. Kind of looks like something from Lord of the Rings. I'm thinking it's going to be a lady also. It's a lady. All right, babe, what do we got? Can you read their names? Lift it up a little bit more. Well, if I lift it up a little more, yeah, everybody else gets see to see it. it. <laughs> we got some white hair. Oh, Harry Lloyd. <laughs> it's it's not a lady. Viserys Targaryen. Yep, we needed a sister, but full bleed. We've been killing it on the Targaryen so far in this uh, case. So we've hit the Mad King. We hit the Golden Crown. Now we need the Mother of Dragons to complete our lives. What a terrible like physical autograph, though. Yeah. 
He literally signs just like his character would in my head. <laughs> I'm going to use this one that's right in front of me that you keep pointing out. I wish I had some gold top loaders. Like a D-bag. <laughs> it's a very nice hit, though. Even though he's a jerk. Mm -hmm. yeah, right? <laughs> they look more slimmer than the other ones. Yeah, it's because they're uh, like the seam is off center. Like they were folded yep. over and sealed. I noticed that. I was like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it at all. No, they're so they're so cool looking. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for people to get them. I've been showing them off all stream. Let's oh, look at them again. That's awesome. That sweet packaging material. Whew. It's so cool. I can't wait for my shirts to come in. I got some stickers showing up and I have some uh, keychains coming in. Oh. Yeah. That was supposed to be coming along with the shirts. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, you absolutely should, Rexy. What up, Slizzard? This is the first time I've ever ripped a full case of this set. We've done a lot of single boxes and like, you know, basically like half cases. But it's so enjoyable to rip. Such a fun set. And like I said, you buy a case, you know, they guarantee you 60 autos and... I have zero doubts that we're gonna pull at least 60 autographs out of here. What's up, Force Finds? All right, who do we got there? I cannot see that face. Oh, it's Catlin. Huh. Attack at the reach. Coming off Zibak. Sir Jorah. Woohoo, coming in on the red. Out of 50. I love it when you get the extra hit in, and then you still get to look at the sweet ass dual auto that you just hit. Whoo! That's a spicy card right there. <laughs> Lots of love. Dude, that's a. Nonzo Anozi too. Is that not an amazing actor? I'm sure I just completely butchered his name by trying to pronounce it, but oh my god. Zara Zone Daxos. That's a spicy meatball. It does kind of look like a meatball. <laughs> what an absolute banger of a card. What is? Oh, okay. Something was on the top loader. Didn't like it. Whew. So back to talking about you getting and actually pursing an entire case. Do it. <laughs> Looking at the man's meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> All right, I think the dual auto is gonna have to take the place of uh, the hound. You know what? I can fit two of them up there. We'll put the hound. Get out of the way, Obi-Wan. Thank you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at all that glare. Gorgeous. <laughs> huh. Uh, three left. All that absolute heat, and there's still three packs. Isn't that crazy? Absolutely. You are more than welcome. How about this? Uh, hold on.
I'll run the last three for 185, so 10 bucks off. That way you don't have to try to bid it up. And this is last three packs from that box, of course. Seven sealed boxes left. I go through stages. <laughs> you got a problem with Young Jeezy? Now yeah, I go through random stages. <clears throat> I don't know why. <clears throat> okay. Sometimes for a whole month, I'll just listen to country. And when I say a whole month, I mean like off and on because I listen to my audio books more. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it up with his meatballs. Y'all can have your meatballs. <laughs> All yours. All right, Rexy. Let's do this. Let's do it. Reek. Got a blue something coming in. Is it blue? Blue Alto. Chamber of the Painted Table. That was a cool ass table. I know that sounds really stupid to say, but their table was awesome. <laughs> it was like the whole map of Westeros. This thing looks like it's going to be uh Oh, Grey Worm? No fucking way. Jacob Anderson coming in on Grey Worm, the Unsullied. That is awesome. Good night. <laughs> God, we don't have any blues. Grey Worm can get a black. I can't. I can't get it in there. <laughs> Too excited. Whew. That is gorgeous. All right. We still got two more packs to go. Can it get better? Let's find out together, guys. Jamie. Lannistar. Got the Giant's Bane. A bold mission. Next moves. And then, blue bordered, Akaria. Little eerie. She was the, um, along with Cal Drogo and all them. Look at that auto. Who autographs with a star? Maybe she really didn't speak English. Possibly. It'd be kind of weird for them to just utilize the Star of David, though, right? I feel like that's weird. I guess it's just a fancy A and then another A, like this way, possibly? All right, well, Grey Worm's way better. <laughs> Get a gold star for trying. <laughs> All right. Last pack, McPackerson. We got a out of 75 insert, it's looking like. Mormont. Baran. Deadly Choice. Oh, that one's sweet. Mm -hmm. It is. It's so cool, though. I freaking love it. Auto. Faye Marseille. Who the hell is she? The Waif. Well, that is the most random autograph I've ever pulled out of this set. 
She literally doesn't even have a name in the show. She is just the waif. But this made up for it. 43 out of 75 coming in on that White Walker. Mick and Matt Gleam. She's the one that beats up Arya? Oh. <laughs> she looks like she has beat some kid up before. I mean, that is definitely her facial expression at this moment. She's going to get black. She looks mean. White Walker, of course, is going to get a white. That's a sweet little insert. All right. Better in Andor? Has she played in Andor? That thing's sweet. It is. It almost looks like a canvas also, but I think that's mm. just the the pattern they have. <clears throat> so technically, so all these inserts right here are a sketch that they just made prints off of and used it as an insert. So they every the artist made the sketch and then they created 75 prints of it and put it in the set. Stole the quarterly payroll with Cassian. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> What's up, deals and steals? Order 66. I think we all know what the biggest hit out of those packs were, right? Because Grey Worm is. That's everything. It's, it's just everything. <laughs> Make fun of me, woman. She's gone. She left. <laughs> Damn, nailed a dual auto. I just think we're probably lucky that Rips with Envy didn't come in because he is deaf. Yeah. <laughs> The dual meatball, and then that lady off to the side. <laughs> I wonder if it's like one dual auto per case. Because every every weekend we've ripped Game of Thrones, we have pulled a dual auto literally every single time. So, I, I don't know. I mean, if we've been getting case hits every weekend, that's pretty wild because we haven't been doing full cases. The last case or the last dual auto we did was a case hit because we pulled that entire, we ripped the entire case last weekend. Where are my thick sleeves? Where are my thickens? Team bags. Team bags. There they be. <laughs> <laughs> I think Oh yeah, the the best price I got it down at 310. Um that's about the lowest I'll go for, you know, the fees and everything. Well, you did absolutely amazing, Rexy. There's no question at all. Like without question, you've got a massive absolutely huge package coming and he's right there <laughs> and a gray worm yeah okay i'll make sure i put your name up there sandor wildness right there wild <clears throat> Meatballs and gray worms. That is awful. <laughs> Horrible, Lady J. <laughs> I love it. 
Oh yeah, the uh, the rat rat trap. That was his name. Rat rays, rat trap with the stingray. <laughs> rat tray. What an odd name. Ooh, I gotta put that back down, huh? Big old meatballs. Got a big old meatball. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven boxes left. How do you like that? Big worm, no worm. Big worm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. We did that uh we did a digi break last weekend and it was a bounty hunters box and an Obi-Wan 10, and we actually hit two out of 10 autos. So that was pretty sweet. It was uh, the fourth sister out of 10 that came out of Obi-Wan. <laughs> no, it wasn't Baby Leia, surprisingly. We hit a Grant Feely auto earlier. That was... um. That was a pretty sweet hit. Little baby Luke. No Ewan McGregor. No Hayden Christensen yet. They gotta show up. Sooner or later. Why is this thing not a... Am I gonna have to change it every time now? Have I ruined my life? Good lord. Yeah, it's a rough set. It really is. It's so my thought process is maybe they like super front loaded it. Oh shit, did you? Oh, did you do a pre bid on it? I will run it in a second. Twelve twelve seconds. I was thinking about Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, yeah, no, that's totally fine. I don't, um, there we go. Yeah, got it figured out. <clears throat> yeah, if, so when you're running bids like that, it doesn't actually like pop up and say it if anybody pre-bids or anything of that nature. So yeah, absolutely just uh, tell me. <laughs> Because I will not pay attention. All right. So we got seven boxes. You got 5330, 5331, 4483, 4482, 3479, 1580, and 1581. Oh, you're the one that the bread sh uh, shared it to. Appreciate you, bread. Absolute spiciness. Yeah, das bread. Hmm. Fifty-three thirty-one. Yeah, that's what I thought you were gonna say. We'll do fifty-three thirty-one. It feels the spiciest. <laughs> it's got a little uh. Look at that. It's got that rat trap tail on it. Actually, I think all of them have that. I just haven't noticed. All right. 3L. Circle City coming in with the raid. How'd the break go, bud? Nice. What'd you pull? I've been ripping Game of Thrones. We did a little bit of Star Wars here and there, too. Game of Thrones has been eaten so far, though. Absolute crazy, beautiful pulls. 
we are doing a full box rip right now. A nice little Percy for Johnny. So we're about to we're about to see some some sweet stuff. Yes, these are the ones that I was talking about and showing off nonstop because I love this set. Oh, nice gold. I don't care about any other card except for the mall. <laughs> All right, Johnny, let's see that spice. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. We have got a sleeved card, baby. If it comes in a sleeve, it is absolute spice. Yes. I mean, so I'm, it's a metal card, I'm thinking. Yeah, so we got a metal card. So this could just be a metal insert. They're, they're rare. Or it could be a one-of-one one metal insert, which is there's no more. I'm pretty good at English. So let's see what we got. The rat tail packs are it. All right. It is a one of one printing plate of Daenerys with the dragon. Oh my God. Holy shit. And then, whoo, King Joffrey coming in. Oh my God. Purchasing an army. <laughs> That is awesome. You got the one of one black printing plate. <laughs> Look, Rexy. Look at that pack. Good Lord. Yep. One of one. Another Daenerys, too, with her dragon. Oh, no, this one has to go into a... Sticker? Yes. Um, we might have to get a brand new. Okay. Oh, no, never mind. It fits in here perfectly. Beautiful. Johnny killed it. Johnny killed it. What's up, Joe? Consider that first time buyer still. Yeah, it's that first time buyer's <laughs> luck right there. Uh, he gets a black. King Joffrey, he's, he's, a, he's a jerk. Yeah, you hit the, uh, the yellow Daenerys printing plate. Very nice hit. All right, we'll go into pack number two. I don't think it's going to get better than that. And good at picking boxes. Looks like we got a blue auto coming in. <clears throat> um, possibly. I don't think their autos really go up when they quit acting. It's more of when they die. Oh, that's a cool one. Crucifixion Road. Well, I guess it's not cool, but you win or you die. All right, autograph, blue border. <laughs> Coming in on that Cersei Lannister, mother and son. That is so sweet. She gets a black too because she's also a dick. Forty-three, thirty-one. Yep, forty-three, thirty-one. Ah, there they are. I'm running out of space over here. Yep, the rat tail box. It had a huge rat tail hanging off the edge of it. All right, pack number three. I think uh, there's a couple more that have one, but I don't think any of them were as big as that. <laughs> All right. Looks like we got one of those gold border autos coming in. Gates of Marine, Sir Jorah's Sacrifice, 
auto coming in. Una Chaplin. I thought that was Rob Stark for a second, but Lady Talisa Stark. I count that as a win. Looks like it just says she. I can't even make something up for that. <laughs> Heartthrob works just as good as just saying Rob, I would think, Rexy. Rob Stark was a gorgeous man. Then the Red Wedding happened and just kind of went downhill from there. They're from the north. They can have a white. Good Lord. More spice. Moss. Spicy pickles. Miss Andy. All right. We got a insert out of 75 showing up. Out of 75 inserte. Flower. Hey, this is the card that you hit your printing plate of, Rexy. Flowers for Daenerys. That's the guy. It was the one-eyed man. Ooh, the other White Walker. We hit the horizontal. Now we got the vertical. All right. And that is numbered out of 75. That thing's sweet. Ooh, full bleed. Melisandre. What a beautiful card. Therese Van Hooten. Dude, this box is stacked. I mean, I feel like every box we've done has been stacked, but this one's been a very nice hitter. So, so far, we've hit a one on one printing plate. We've hit a dragon glass. We've hit, what, three? Was it two or three canvas cards? I think it was three. And a dual auto. It was three. Rexy should know. I think she got every one of them. <laughs> you know, we'll cover up Joffrey. And... Last pack magic. Let's seize it. For the Johnny. First purchaser, last pack, magic, luck. Let's do some cool stuff here. Viserys. Samuel. Oh, she's all lean back. Ned Stark figuring out that, uh, there was some brotherly, sisterly love happening. And last auto. Well, we got Will. So, one bad autograph out of the entire box. I count that as a win. I wouldn't really say it's a bad auto. It is still a on-card auto. But it's just, uh... It's just Will. <laughs> <clears throat> what up, Tade? Now, definitely still an amazing box. Um, yeah. We'll give Will a white. A white Will. Bronson Webb. Congratulations, Johnny. You, uh, you nailed that. That was a hell of a good box. Queen Cersei. Got the White Walker. Well, this is a Hoi Trong. Truong. It's something like that, guys. 47 out of 75. Nice little sketch print. Una Chaplin. Mrs. Stark. Look at that one. Millis Andre. Jack Gleason. Great auto. Terrible character. What's up, Midwest? How you doing, Dan John? And then there's Will. So... Or there's a will, there's a way. Really wish we'd have pulled somebody's name way as an auto. 
<laughs> Hanging out, buddy. How you doing? Oh, that was a beautiful box. The uh, Jedi's or the lightsabers. I have some more laid up and I put them aside specifically for you, Joe. I just have no idea what I did with them. I have like five or six different characters. They're all Jedi's that I set aside for you. I'll find them one, one day. What the hell did I do with that stack? This is going to take more than one bag. What case is it from? It is from the Holocron. Yep, we did that single box a couple weeks back. <coughs> and then I put them somewhere. <laughs> and I don't rightly know where. Johnny? Johnny? Oh, Johnny boy. Let me get all these sleeve it did I'm mostly just talking to myself. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was writing your name on all the bags, so I had to say it while I wrote it. Okay. That one. What up, cheese covered pineapple? So, everybody that just came in, here's Johnny. God, who doesn't love Stephen King, right? Yeah, a little bit of The Shining. Exactly. And then the, um, the sequel that they made. Fuck, what's it called? Totally just blanked out on what it was called. I had it five seconds ago. Um, Doctor Sleep. Yeah. That's it. I was about to say Doctor Sleep. Yeah, Doctor Sleep. The book was amazing. Yeah, they yeah. they did a very good job. You did, did you read the whole thing? Oh, is that like the first time in what almost ten years since we've been together that you read an entire book? No. No. Did you read all of Under the Dome? Yes. I, no, I was pretty sure you set that one off to the side and ignored it because it was so big. Oh, I feel like I missed some stuff there. What is this? <clears throat> Ooh, what is ICC? Where is that at? Indiana Comic Convention. A little late there, Lady J. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's uh, definitely a hard one to spell. Slipped right over in the country and didn't even recognize it. I don't want to listen to Red Hot. Chitty Bang. <clears throat> I would like to pull a Night King auto. We have hit two very, very awesome uh, out of 75s. I did not. I will certainly try. I've, I've only pulled one Hayden Christensen auto, and that was from... The Bounty Hunters. It was a printing plate. <clears throat> I would really love to see that triple auto of um, Ian McDermott, Ewan McGregor, Sounded weird saying those names back to back, right? And then Hayden Christensen. 
How massive is that card? I would too. I'd have to have the wife like pull me off the table so I didn't faint on the card. <laughs> It would definitely be another one. You'd see a lot of pictures of me with that card in the six hours that I would own it. <laughs> Look what I've held before, everybody. <laughs> uh, the Masterwork Gold Vader? Oh, I didn't see that. Well, I'm trying to break all my stuff. She's trying to break my nerd stuff. Oh, yeah, Mall Toad and Snake Eyes. I was looking at a couple different, like, um, posters that Ray Park had signed. They didn't have any, like, authentication with them, so I didn't get one. But it was the same exact thing. It was Darth Maul, Toad, and Snake Eyes kind of all, like, jammed together on the picture with his auto. And, like, it was him, like, sitting in the middle of it as himself. That thing was sweet. Uh, we have uh <coughs> we've run a pretty decent night with hit so far <clears throat> I'm going to do, uh, I never even added it. <clears throat> so the Bounty Hunters box, it's a 2021 set, and it just recently went so high in price. Um, it's very, very heavy in um, sketches, though. So one-on-one -on -one sketches are massive in that set. <clears throat> I... You have a you have a way better chance of pulling a sketch in that set than almost any other set, definitely in that year, except for what is it, um, Galactic Files. I got you, Todd A. I'm going to, I got to set up one thing real quick because I totally forgot to set it up and I'm going to go ahead and run the Gibby. All right. So this was the case topper for the arts and images. Nice. I'll take a look at it, Joe. So it's a metal card of the map. It's a two out of three. So there's two other ones that, you know, puzzle together. So we're going to run that. And uh, there you go. <clears throat> it is running right there. Hop in it. Free case topper. The metal. <clears throat> All right, now run the, the old got. Um, uh, let me look at the checklist just to, just to be sure, because I'm not a hundred percent sure white Walker, white Walker, any idea what the signer's name is for that? 
King Joffrey, King Robert, King Joffrey, Frederick, Mr. Frederick. <clears throat> Uh, he is not showing up in the checklist, so I don't think you can pull a Night King. <coughs> but I will do a quick look through on the actual checklist to see it. Well, I say quick. There's a lot up here. See, Theon Greyjoy, Eerie, Quiburn, Edison Tullet. There's that Will, Melisandre, Mance Raider, Lord Varys. Krasnus, Mo Nicklaus, Podrick Payne, King Eris the second of his name Targaryen, Vladimir, yeah, not showing up in the checklist anywhere for Vlad either. Gwendolyn Christie as Brienne of Tarth, Gregor Clegane, uh, we. We have not pulled a mountain. We pulled Sandor. Now we need Gregor. We pulled a Gilly. Uh, Viserys, Viserys Targaryen. It's it's spelled Viserys, so I'm going to screw it up every time. Jorah Mormont. Elaria Sand. Ramsey Bolton. What's up, Lady Midwest? Jeffrey Baratheon, of course. The old Joffrey. We got the Grey Worm, which is very limited. So it says, and then there's like 40 other autos. How you doing tonight, lady? We're running a Gibby right now. Anybody that just came in, it's the case topper for the Game of Thrones metal card. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we've been ripping Game of Thrones all night. We've uh, we pulled a dual auto. I know it's hard to see because. I wonder if I could just adjust this. Hold on. Yeah, it's you can kind of see a little bit better. It's still all super glary. We had a Grey Worm. We hit um, Sandor Clegane, the Hound. We got a dual auto. Big E Fat Boy. Got the Meatball dual auto. Nonzo and Nosy. It's a, it's a spicy one. Yeah, we've had some really cool cards from the set so far. <clears throat> we got six more to go. Six boxes left. So we are officially halfway through the case. I just realized that. And we have not pulled a sketch yet, which a sketch is out of three cases. What up, Ryan Markowitz? How you doing, Slewy? Slewy. Yeah, everybody just coming in. I got the new uh, packaging material in, too. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? It's so beautiful. I have so much excitement over these. Yeah, old Julianne did that sketch for me, and... And she was asking me, she was like, oh, you know, like, what's your plan with it? And I was like, I plan on doing all kinds of stuff with it, if that's go okay with you. Because I made her do the same thing I made you do, Lady Midwest. Sign the front so that when I do put the artwork on something, I have their name up there. I like having the artist names because obviously I didn't draw this. And one of these days, I'll be doing a um, another order. And if it's cool with you, lady, I'm going to be putting your artwork on some stuff, too. How awesome would it be to have this on a t-shirt? That would be sweet, wouldn't it? <coughs> I appreciate that follow, cheese-covered pineapple. 
Yeah, I sent um Julianne because you know she's based out of the UK. Wait, did the did I miss the Givy running? Well, shit. <laughs> oh, what's to Joe? Congrats, Joe. I was busy running my mouth. Joe got the case topper. All right. The map of Westeros coming in to you, bud. I totally did not pay attention. <laughs> Got excited talking about sketches. Yeah, I should have my t-shirts coming in with this artwork on it. And I'll have some keychains show up and... I got some stickers coming in that I'll be throwing into packages randomly and whatnot. <clears throat> it ought to be pretty damn cool. Lots of excitement. Mucho excitemento. <clears throat> yeah, we'll spice up the, the mail days a little bit more. Everybody get some really cool artwork. I still got the original. Luckily, love my original. But yeah, I was talking to um, Julianne the other day because, you know, I had talked to her. I had planned on making it basically my, um, you did, Joe. That's coming to you. Yeah, so I, I sent her the pictures of everything that I would like, all the merchandise I had coming in. And she is ecstatic. So I got to send her a shirt. What up, Captain Tad Loki? Ooh, welcome back, Space Coast. Ooh, eleven fifteen. That uh, three a.m. wake up starting to catch up with me. But I got some water over here, so that'll be safe for me. <clears throat> Don't look like it, Joe. What's up, Jade? And I got my Midwest heat sticker right here, too, because I got y'all's package in today. This thing is sweet. Like, it is thick. Oh, yeah. Good to know. I definitely plan on doing it, as long as you're cool with it. And like I say, you know, I got your... Uh, got your nice little signature there. That is always why I want the signature on the front for like those personal sketch cards. <clears throat> really? I was looking at a couple that had, um, I was actually looking at some sticker sheets and I didn't go with the sticker sheets so I didn't have to cut them. <laughs> a little hand cut from the lady Midwest makes it a little more special. I got to put it on my, um, one of my lights. I think I dropped one of them behind the table. I have to track that thing down. <laughs> well, it looks better than it would have if I'd have cut it. What's up, Sammy? Oh, it says sandwich. I just went with the first one. Circle City, how you doing tonight? You got a stream set up tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, it'll be a perfect circle at that point. 
Oh, I got you. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes total sense. Yeah, what not does that all the time? I don't know why. And I never really know if anybody actually left and came back, so I always just say hey to them every time. What's up, Snappy? There's the one time somebody comes in and I'm like, and I'm like, hey, what's up? They're like, man, that guy's a dick. <laughs> Yes, it absolutely is. And I do always have my phone going, like my um, the iPhone showing 9 right now and the computer showing 10. And as I said that, it switched. Now the phone's at 10 and the computer's at 9. <coughs> yes, that's always a big one too. You get them that come in and they're just like swiping through. So sometimes they'll come in and I kind of stare at them for a second and just wait to see. If the number drops, depends on how much energy I have. What up, chef? <clears throat> All right, there's a couple more really good streamers right there for you johnny um lady midwest heat her husband is midwest heat and they run some really good star wars streams as is cc underscore collectibles right here make sure you follow both of those um circle city collectibles does really good breaks also so they're definitely really good johnny this is his first night on whatnot and he pulled some absolute heat for game of thrones and he hit an out of 50 auto. Look at that, though. Look at those things. Good Lord. These are uh, all hits right here. Let's look at them again. I, I can't ever not look at them. 101 printing plate. The Obi-Wan 10s are missing hit. I'll say, you know, it's usually hit or miss, but it's it's definitely miss and hit because most of the time you're gonna miss on them. It's a really hard one to hit. Got King Joffrey. Look at that one though, full bleed, red witch. You got a uh, Rob Stark's wife, <coughs> and then we got that was one of the White Walkers that we hit. This is out of seventy five. Hoi Truong did the original artwork. So these little inserts they have right here, you can see they're embossed, which, I mean, and Rittenhouse is so great on their quality control. There we go. Yeah, so what they did was they made, they had the artist create a sketch, and then they did 75 prints of that sketch and inserted them into the packs. <clears throat> so there's only 75 of that card. There's a second card that we pulled earlier. I think Rexy hit it. And it looks almost like that, except for it's horizontal. And that one was by a different artist, which I thought that was just cool as hell. <clears throat> What's up, Beckett the Great? <clears throat> I appreciate that. I try to run a chill hangout rooms. Um, so right now, we've been running Game of Thrones. So this is the Arts and Images trading cards from Rittenhouse. Rittenhouse is, I'm extremely impressed in their, like I was saying, their quality control. I also run a lot of Star Wars. That's kind of the main thing I run. Lots of Star Wars. Um, we got some Obi-Wan Kenobi. The autograph is still live in these packs, actually. They're in the buy it now. Oh, yeah. Um, so the Game of Thrones, you get an autograph in every single pack. So and that's why they're so expensive. There's five packs per box and there's five autographs per box. And you usually hit some numbered cards. You can hit sketches. Sketches are my favorite. But, yeah, you get a guaranteed auto in every single pack. I have not ripped a pack yet that did not have an auto in it. There was, I have not hit a missing hit yet. It is impressive. <laughs> Um, your Star Wars, so 
So we have hobby tins. Hold on, let, let me grab a sealed one for you. It'll probably explain it a little better. So this is a hobby box of Obi-Wan Kenobi. There's one guaranteed auto in here, but it is a Topps product, and there's always the chance you'll get Topps. There's seven packs in here. There are, you can buy the full 10 in the buy it now. So you get a guaranteed auto or a sketch is how they say it. But, you know, you can also hit numbered cards in there, printing plates. The Book of Boba Fett. I don't have one up here. There we go. Yep, Book of Boba Fett 10. You can buy these by the pack. Um, if you do buy a pack, so the auto was already pulled out of this one, so I'll open up a new one if you want a single pack. There is one guaranteed auto in this. You can also buy the full 10 in the buy it now. <coughs> Same thing goes with that. You can hit, um, like I said, guaranteed auto. You can hit sketches, numbered cards. And then the other two Star Wars products I have. So I got the 2021 Bounty Hunters. So this is two hit hobby box. There's 24 packs in here. Oh, that was something I missed. Your Obi-Wan Kenobi and your Book of Boba Fett only have seven packs per 10. That's why they're so much cheaper. <clears throat> yep, I still have that sitting in there, Joe. And I'm off all weekend, so I should be able to get around to doing that now. I don't have to go to work. So that's nice. <laughs> so your Book of Boba Fett, it's a two-hit box. You get one guaranteed auto, you're, and then you get a second hit guaranteed which is either a sketch or a patch. Now, the sketch is a one-on-one. I don't know how much you know about cards. Sketch is a one-on-one hand-drawn card. They're my absolute favorite thing to hit in any card product. And then you can also get a patch. I have had boxes that were two autographs instead of having that random second hit in there. I have these by the pack. I also have it by the box. All in the bin. And then I have that new Star Wars TCG. This is the last box of the case that I had. I think I have that only by the pack in the bin. And uh, these are what the... I got some of the cards laying around also. So this is the... Yeah. Yeah. Do you watch Star Wars? I'm guessing you don't collect the cards yet. But, um... Ooh, it depends on which set you're looking at. So, I mean, Carrie Fisher signs in your Bounty Hunters. You can hit, I think it's a dual auto that Carrie Fisher signs. Hayden Christensen is Darth Vader, massive auto. Um, you can get Cad Bane auto, like a Cad Bane or a Tamura Morrison's really big in your Book of Boba Fett. Um, Ming-Na Wen. <laughs> also a really big autograph. Your Obi-Wan Kenobi here, you can hit like a Hayden Christensen auto. Ian McDermott signs. Ewan McGregor is Obi-Wan. All really big autos. Fennec Shand. I already said Ming-Na Wen, but that's Fennec Shand. She signs in this one. Moses Ingram and your Obi-Wan. That's uh, Reva. I got... Yeah, like a Riva autos are really good ones to hit. <clears throat> yep, you can purchase by the pack or by the box. <laughs> so the way it'll work is the auto is still live in this. One, two, three, four. So we've ripped two packs of this one already, and we didn't hit the auto out of it. So there's only five packs left to pick from. If you buy a pack, you pick whichever one you want. We'll rip it open. And you can, you take whatever. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, and they're all in the, the bin. Um, if you want, you can tell me which one you want to buy. I can pin it up so it'll be down here for you and you don't have to search for it. Or you can search for which product, however you want to do it. <clears throat> Easy peasy. <clears throat> like I said, the boxes are also in the buy it now. And you're always welcome to just hang out and listen to me ramble on while my mouth dries out. The Game of Thrones, there is a massive amount. So your big autographs in Game of Thrones is going to be your Amelia Clark, so Daenerys Targaryen. 
that is the absolute biggest autograph you can pull. I mean, you're talking, those things have been selling for like 2K. <clears throat> I actually think I might. Nope, nope, because the only one that we've ripped today is getting shipped off to the guy that bought it. But you also got Kit Harrington, so you can pull a Jon Snow auto. Um, Sandor and Gregor Clegane. So we pulled a Sandor a little bit earlier. Awesome hit. It's it's all your like really big autos. Um, King Joffrey's in there. Here's some more of the other ones. You got Queen Cersei. You can get numbered cards in these also. There's a one on one printing plate. Yeah, it's uh, it is just about everybody. The Night King's not in here. We just found that out earlier while I was looking through the checklist. But yeah, there's a nice numbered card that we hit of the White Walker. There's King Joffrey, Melisandre. <clears throat> a whole box of Game of Thrones. I, I've been running for 310. I can load one up in the bin for you if you want it. We ran two of them, and that was all I had done for full boxes. But I can set one up if you want to run one of those. Yep, one pack is 65. And it's five packs per box. And there is a guaranteed autograph in every single pack. It is the 2023 set. So buying it by the pack, if you buy all five packs, you're looking at 325. <coughs> if you buy the entire box, it's 310. So you're saving 15 bucks buying the entire box if you're planning on going in five packs. <clears throat> But if you only want to buy one pack and get one auto, you're only spending 65 bucks. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be watching Game of Thrones tomorrow again. Started season two last weekend. I got three kids that run around the house, so it's really hard to watch. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those, like, anytime the kid comes in from outside, I got to pause it and turn it off. All right, I'll run one for you. And you can um, pick whatever box we're going to rip open. So, these are all numbered. So, of, of this set, they only made... Set that over here. They only made 6,000 boxes. So, it's a limited run, and they're all numbered. So, we got 5,330. We got 4,483. 4,482. 3,479. 1,580. And 1,581. You pick whichever box we're going to open up. And then we'll let you pick which pack out of it you want. Oh no, Grey Worm fall down. Calm down, Grey Worm. <clears throat> Top left, 4482 coming in. And this one's got a long rat tail too. Look at that. That gave us really good luck last time. We'll see if that thing holds, or if they all have it. <laughs> There's a possibility, too. All right, Beckett. And you'll have pack one through five you can pick through. Number two. Let's do it. All right, so you got one and two. You guys can stand up. Look at you being all fancy. The fanciness. All right, Beckett, good luck. Let's see that, sir, or not Cersei, but uh, Daenerys. I really want to pull one. I have just one. Well, I got old Eddard Stark. 
Still with his head attached. That's a good. Viserys' plot. Coming off the back, we got Yara Greyjoy. What's up, Carrie? Good. Mr. Sean Bean. There's Daenerys being all purdy. Across the narrow sea. And for the auto, coming in. Who do we got? Oh, nice. Benjamin Stark. That is an awesome hit. Uncle Benjamin. This looks like after he was, um, yeah, after he went, it was lost over the wall because he's got all his uh, battle damage on him. That is an awesome hit. It's the first time I've ever seen his auto come out. Obviously, I haven't ripped all that much of it. <laughs> You've been gone so long, Carrie. Really? What, uh, how far are you in? You still on the first season? I'll try not to do any kind of, any more, um, oh, okay, yeah. No more spoilers for you. I'll try at least. Episode four, you are in for an absolute treat. Mouth sealed. How you been doing, Carrie? Yeah, I have absolutely gotten hooked on Game of Thrones, man. Yep, that's my exact problem. They, it is, you can't watch it with the kids in the house. I'm always scared they're going to like poke their head around the wall and me not notice them and not be able to turn it off in time. Oh, you're good to go, man. I know exactly how it is. Sometimes you got to take care of life. Ain't no way around it. Yeah, we tag you every once in a while. See what you're up to, what you're doing in life. You always show up randomly, though, so we know how it goes. Nice. Congrats. Is it a nice place? Well, we've missed you too, Kara. You know, Jade Minted is back on now. That's what I think that was the last few times we tagged you because she's back streaming. And I was like, oh, Carrie Good's going to be so excited. Uh, uh, Queen Cersei Lannister. I did. Yeah, we just hit one of her autos earlier today. We actually hit two of her autos so far. Space Coast coming in. They're going to pile one on. <laughs> yeah, we've hit two of her autos tonight. We hit one of her dual autos. It was her and Quiburn, which you haven't met Quiburn yet. I don't believe. I'm on my second watch of it, and I'm, I've just got to season two. All right, Space Coast. Pick number three, my lord. One, two, and Trace. You can ask absolutely anything. <laughs> Not everybody. I'll tell you, don't get too attached to any characters. It was way worse. So I read the books originally, like when they first came out. And George R.R. Mar Martin is absolutely amazing with making you fall in love with a character and then completely murdering them in the worst way possible. Oh, uh, I don't think you've wasted any. Every minute's awesome. All right, we got a little brawn. Bronathan. Yeah, there's old Danny. One of the best pictures or best portraits of her in this set. Like, that is an absolutely beautiful card with the background. It's gorgeous. There she is again. The Temple of Dosh Kaleen. All right, we got a numbered card showing up. Woo, is out of 50. Egret, Egret, I can never say it right. I can say it in my head, but as soon as it comes out of my mouth, it sounds like that. <laughs> What's up, bearded dragons? That is that is a beautiful hit. Red for the redhead. We actually hit her other card out of 50 earlier. 
All right, for the autograph, no way. We hit the mountain. We have got the brothers together. Let's go twice. Whoo! That is beautiful. Gregor Clegane coming in. I it's Bjornson. That's the only one I can say. And Julius. Half poor? Never been able to say his first name. You could say it to me and I couldn't repeat it. Congratulations, Space. <coughs> yep, the OB box just has one auto. So out of the seven packs, there'll be one pack that has an autograph. <laughs> That's usually how the tops works. This is really one of the reasons that I got into the Game of Thrones so much. It's one of the only things you're going to find that has an autograph in every single pack. You're guaranteed an auto in Game of Thrones, which is beautiful. Um, yeah, the 10, you're going to get one autograph throughout the whole thing. Bro, that was an awesome pack right there. 46 out of 50. Whew. She gets a red because she's a red noggin. Whoa. Oh, Carrie Good. I got to show you my new um, packaging. I literally just got it in today. Let me get this stuff sleeved up real quick because I'm ecstatic about it. I've been showing it off all day. I was showing it off before they showed up, actually. Like, I got the proofs in and I was showing pictures of them. You're going to love them. They're perfect. Everybody else has seen them like 300 times by now, I'd imagine, but... You ready? Whew, look at it. I love them. I got 500 of them, so I won't be running out anytime soon. I got some shirts coming in. I got some uh, keychains and stickers coming in. <coughs> What's up, MT? Any Speedos? You know what? They didn't do Speedos. Isn't that sad? I'd have looked good in a Collector B Speedo. I feel like they would have sold out the fastest, too. <laughs> yeah, I've, I bought a couple shirts. Um, of course, I bought one for everybody in the family. Me, the wife, all three kids. And I got some extras. I'm going to throw them up on the stream. Um, and if they sell, I'll get some more. I mean, who wouldn't want... The shirts look amazing. I got a picture of the actual shirts. Hold on. I should be able to show them to you. They just haven't showed up yet. <clears throat> people do. Um, every once in a while, you'll get people that trade. And, I mean, it's definitely not an issue as far as um, me swapping it out. It's just literally me swapping out the pictures. They are. So, it's a uh, Darth Maul mixed with Drill. All right, Beckett, going to take another one. You got one through three. The front one. And I'll find a picture of my shirt. Let's see it, Beckett. Come on, Daenerys. But, yeah, I mean, if you want to trade with somebody else and y'all can come to an agreement, message each other, totally up to y'all. Um, I don't mind swapping it out. Spark of the Rebellion, I am personally a really big fan of it, Carrie. Really big fan. I have one. This is my last box that I have of the case. And the showcase cards are absolutely wild. I haven't pulled one yet. Cal Drogo. Captured by Cal Moro. But they're very fun to rip. I, I really like the artwork personally. All right. Autograph. What we got? Who are we coming in with? Paul Rattray again. It is a car start, though. It's got a little uh, stingray. We were talking about this one earlier. He's definitely not one of the rarest autos. But, hey. I'm guessing he's a cousin to Catelyn Stark. 
<laughs> we can do anything at any time. We've been, uh, we've mixed in Star Wars quite a few different times. We rip it all at any time. You just let me know what you want and we'll rip it. But yeah, your showcase, like your um, Boba Fett showcase is worth like $500 right now. Between four and 500 bucks is what it's been going for, which is crazy, isn't it? <clears throat> I, I Hopefully we'll pull one. This is the last box of the case and we did not hit one at all. So we got a pretty good chance. I think we got a good chance. I'm hoping for that good chance. <clears throat> we did hit, so there's two Vader, or there's one Vader card. You can get the base, you can get a hyperspace, same card, just like a little bit of different artwork. Then you can get the, the foil, and then you can get a hyperspace foil. And all of them kind of differ in prices. It's all the same card, but you know, you're just hitting like a, a different version of it almost. But like the Darth Vader card is going for somewhere around like 80. Oh, you're going for the whole box. All right. <laughs> Full box coming in. This is about to be exciting. I'm going to get you a. Uh, <laughs> a box that I can put all this on. I can just use the same box. Duh. All right, let's see it. We hit one showcase, one Vader, or one Boba Fett. It basically pays for the box. <clears throat> yep, I do. I can do a full box of the Game of Thrones for 310 knobs. Um, we ran, I had put two boxes up there for that. I didn't really know if anybody would want to do a whole box, but we sold out of those. So I can do another one. If I can get them out. Good Lord. Come on, hands. Do you want to rip it all, Carrie? Because I'm totally cool with ripping it all. There we go. Yeah. You know I want to see what's in here. <laughs> All right, empty box. We're about to fill it back up. <clears throat> All right, we're looking for hyperspace foils, and I'll show you all the different ones while we rip. Hyperspace foils and legendaries, especially hyperspace foils of legendaries. So the first card's gonna be a leader. All right, so you got a little IG-88 leader. It's a double-sided card. This right here is a hyperspace. Look at that one, Vanquish. It's one of my favorite common cards. All right, these are all your commons. If you look down here, there's a little C. That's your rarity symbol. And we're about to come into another hyperspace, so you'll be able to really see the difference of a base going to hyperspace. So you can see you got your border, hyperspace, no border except for the little lines. And that's just a common, still a good hit. Devotion. All right, we're coming into your uncommons. Got your rare for a Lando and a common foil. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna load these in this pile right here. That was uh, somewhat kind of a basic pack right there. Got the Sabine Wren on the leader, Capital City. Let's see, Moment of Peace. Coming in through your commons, tactical advantage, seventh fleet defender, frontier AT AT, barrage for your uncommon. Got a nice little Sabine Wren for your uncommon. Uncommon, 
All right, we got a rare Jedi lightsaber. That's a sweet one. Admiral Piet for an uncommon foil. <clears throat> now we just got to get to some legendaries. Grand Admiral Thrawn on the leader. That is a rare right there. We got a hyperspace foil coming in the back. <clears throat> That's a good hit right there. It's just a leader, but it's a really cool leader. Kestro City. All right, Guardian of the Wills. Some attack pods. <laughs> Fleet Lieutenant. Got the Jawa Scavenger. Maximum Firepower. All right, we got another Hyperspace showing up. On the common, Rugged Survivors. Ezra. Yeah, and they are really low on stock for this set right now. Ooh, Legendary. The black one. Hyperspace Foil, Admiral Piet. That's two good hits right there. Two very good hits right there. Let me sleeve those two. Hyperspace foils and legendaries. That's what we're looking for. <clears throat> Absolutely, Carry Good. You know I'm always here to over explain things. It's kind of my skill. Right, we got another hyperspace, a little IG88. I can do some counting for you too if you want me to. <laughs> yeah, I know you like that one. I've gotten a lot better. That was a lie. <laughs> Defense Walker. Little rogue operative. Soldier. Hyperspace for the Jawa. Inferno 4. Dodona. Coming into some uncommons. You got a rare for a little K2. That's a cool one. And common... Hollow. <clears throat> There's a nice little Boba Fett leader. Command center. Almost dropped it. Strike true. Interceptor, Metal Ceremony, the Shore Trooper, Sanctuary, Viper Probe Droid. I just like the name of that card. Mon Mothma coming into your Uncommons, Ruthless Raider, Old Man Yoda, Rare Chopper, and your Hollow Foil Jawa Scavenger. Let's see one of them big old hits. Jen Urso, nice little uh, hyperspace, open fire. Yeah, some of the artwork on this is really good. That was one of the big issues that a lot of people had with this set, is they said they didn't like the artwork. <coughs> I don't like the style of it. And I was kind of worried because I was like, oh man, you know, like they were showing pictures of like some of the worst artwork, like General Tag. But they left out you know the hyper full or just the foil uh shoot first i love this card i think it looks great and then the rare han solo also a good looking one lieutenant childson well that one's actually got a little bit of a it's like a bend in the foil there Can you see that yeah five booster boxes nice it's really fun to rip Yep, there's the Canadian. Damn! That's the card everybody's searching for. That's a massive hit, Lizard. That thing's sitting at around $500 still, right? Krennic. Chopper base. That's wild. And it's only going to go up in price right now. Tell me that isn't an awesome card. Make an opening. Snow Trooper. Snapshot Reflexes. The Mando hanging out. Thank you, Pedro. All right. We got a little bit of hyperspace. 
Carabast, Uncommon. Oh, these sideways rares on the back always throw me off. All right, we got the Recruit on the foil. The dual auto, that is Nonzo Anozi and Roxanne McKee. <clears throat> yeah. It's a spicy bed dual auto. I was pretty excited about it. We got a hyperspace foil coming out in the back. Cantina Braggart. Death Trooper, Wampa, Super Laser Technician, Swoop, got the overly tall Trooper there, I don't like that card just because he's too tall, Childson coming in with a rare, you're my only hope, thank you Leia. nice hit. Just a common, but still a hyperspace foil. Super hard to hit. They are raw ray. <clears throat> Got two backer for the lead there. Echo base repair. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Dispatcher, little agent, Corillian Freighter. The uh, Millennium Falcon in this set's a really big legendary also to hit. Like getting a hyperspace foil, look at that force joke. That's a sweet one. One of my favorite cards. All right, coming in with the rare. Little reinforcement. Oh, look at that. That's one you don't see very often in a foil. You don't already see too many leader or a base foil, sorry. <clears throat> All right. Did you hit any of the legendary, um, like, base Vaders? We hit two last weekend. Gorgeous cards. We didn't hit a Boba Fett. Syndicate, little tie. Yeah, that card's like $100 on its own if you hit the um, hyperspace foil. Little hyperspace, Fighters for Freedom. Legendary Boba Fett. There it is, baby. You got snapshot reflexes. There's one right there. It's not the showcase, but we'll look it up real quick. <clears throat> I'm thinking at least $50, if I remember properly. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, very nice. Yeah, I hit my... um. Let's see. That's the hyperspace. Yeah. $59. So you're sitting at 60 bucks for this thing right now. Fire. So this case, we have hit two Vaders and one Boba Fett. Legendary. Still no showcase, though. It's got to be in here. All right, got the Boba Fett leader. Kestro. Resilient. Death Star. Right, got a hyperspace underworld thug. Bosk. I know you like that. Blaster. Got the Rallying Cry. Jedha City for the base. And an Uncommon Foil. 
that's okay, mine. I'm gonna start taking off that top right. Gotta be some spice sitting in there, right? All right, a little hyperspace. We've got a couple hyperspaces in there. Yeah, there we go. Stormtrooper, Academy Training, Sympathizer, Sympathizers. Let's pluralize it and make a whole new card. I like that. Crafty Smuggler coming in on a hyperspace. Looks like it's going to be an uncommon. Protector. There's old Chirrut. Thank you, Mway. Got the rare. Also, tell me that isn't a beautiful card. And Snow Speeder for the common foil. Did Amber sneak in here? Too busy staring at the cards. Got Versio, nice little foil. Not foil, but a hyperspace. I don't know why, but they always get mixed up in my brain. <laughs> Sympathizers. Attack. V-Wing. A-T-S-T. What up, Cheese Covered Pineapple? Welcome back. Disarm. There's old M-Way again. Outmaneuver. All right. Coming into a rare Spark of Rebellion. Got cannon jars hanging out over there. Got the Wild Wampa on the full. Mway. Maybe we're going to hit a showcase of his. He's been showing up a lot. Catacombs, Snow Speeder, Gladiator Star Destroyer. That's a cool ass name. <clears throat> nope, no showcase in the entire case. And I don't think they're guaranteed in a case. I think, you know, it's just one of those, it's an average one per case. From what I've read all over Facebook, at least. So, you know, if it's on Facebook, it's absolutely true. For calls I believe in on a nice rare. Every time seeing it sideways like that throws me off. Tarkin Town on the foil. A little over halfway through. Sabine. The foils look good. They did a pretty good job with this. This is um, FFG, I believe, is the company that printed these. Sympathizers, Attack Pod. Coming in with that V-Wing again. What's up? Thank you, Lou. Surprise Strike. ATST. It's the Atst. A hyperspace coming in. Security complex. Coming in with a legendary Avenger. All right. An Imperial Interceptor. It's a nice little legendary for you. I would like to pull you a Vader legendary also. That would be cool to pull out of the same box. Let's see it. And then a showcase. They don't have a showcase Vader yet. I'm thinking maybe an Ahsoka Vader. There's that sweet Vanquish card. Siege Tank. Defender. Guardian of the Hoyles. Little Fleet. ATRT. Waylay. Some lackeys and carabast. Baze Malbus. Got our uncommons coming into a rare red three. And an uncommon on the foil. <clears throat> Grand Moff Tarkin. Nice little hyperspace on that leader. Mission Briefing, Militia. Yeah, we ripped almost the entire case of this last weekend. Like I said, we hit some really good hits, but they were not the hits we were looking for. Coming into a rare Del Miko and a rare hyperspace foil. General Krell. 
Nice. Can only get better if it was a legendary. I wish I still had my greens. <clears throat> sit right there come on showcase I can't believe you hit a showcase before me fire lizard that's it's a dumpster fire Kestro I guess I was focusing more on the Game of Thrones side of things but all last weekend <laughs> I'm gonna have to custom make you one Got the Wampa. What's up, A-Man? No good to me dead. Little Han Solo and Carbonite. Skirmish coming in on the rare. And Volunteer Soldier in the foil. Tarkin. Strike true. Little Luke Skywalker. A wing, the recruit, bounty hunter crew, restock. Little Mando, ruthless raider, entrenched in your uncommons. Coming in on rare for the bombing run and doing a little hand repair on that foil. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, Two Lady Jedi's was doing a stream, uh, I don't know, about a month ago. And they did a, um, they were doing a Darth Maul Gentle Giant. That was pretty cool. My mom was up there trying to win it. She didn't win it. <coughs> yeah, that thing was sweet. I'll get one one day. I gotta buy one. The Ghost. Coming in on your rare little Saw Gerrera. Vanguard infantry on the foil. Yeah, I've looked at a couple and I just I just haven't done it yet. Little Palpatine. There's the old palp. Big palp for the leader. Pathfinder make an opening. Consortium Star Viper. That's a cool name. Braggart. Confiscate coming in on that four or the hyper. Snowtrooper Lieutenant for the common. Uncommons. Force throw. Another really nice Vader card. What up, Myers? Coming in on a rare job of the hut. And an uncommon bouncer on that foil. We got uh three packs left. Come on, baby. Let's see one show up. I don't think we got one here. Last pack magic, maybe? Second to last pack magic? I don't know. We hit absolute heat with that Boba Fett. I think we could still do better. A little hyperspace. Bib Fortuna coming in on your uncommon. We got another legendary, though. The Devastator legendary this time. Make an opening. Oh, common foil. Open for me. That's pretty nice. You got the Avenger and the Devastator back to back. Got Leia. The ladies of Star Wars. Chopper base. Spec for Steadfast. Juggernaut, Carillion Freighter, Headhunters, Gamorrean Guards, there's old Zeb, coming on an uncommon, we got a uh, hyperspace foil coming in back here though, it's another really nice Vader card, Power of the Dark Side, rare, and it's a common Gladiator Star Destroyer, you are absolutely killing it on some ships all right last pack last pack mcpackerson got leia for the leader leader leia escort skiff 
Honor Guard, Jet Hot Agitator, Dispatcher, Snow Speeder, Resilient, Waylay. Got some Uncommons, got a Greedo, Rebel Assault. Fifth Brother's a sick ass card, too. Alright, coming in on a rare sneak attack. Last foil. We got a legendary foil. Ooh, Force Lightning. The Palpatine. Whew. Very nice. <laughs> he is beautiful. Absolutely, Carrie. Thank you. Very nice hits coming in. Very, very nice. Let me get all these uh, bagged up. <laughs> so what else you been up to recently, Gary? Getting you a new house. Huge win. What up, knobs? Welcome back. If you ever left, I'm not sure. Just what not does that. Oof. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Tried dating. <laughs> So that's where you were. Another woman, huh? <laughs> I think they're all crazy. It's just, uh, are they pretty enough to put up with the craziness? Right? Ooh, there you go. Sounds like a winning situation right there, bud. <clears throat> Crazy hot matrix? Uh-uh. Not even sure exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> you what do you mean it's the wrong pin it's the only pin i got beckett gonna take one let's see that queen Come on, sad to see. All right, you got two packs to choose from. Are we going Beckett? Ooh, me pick. This one. <clears throat> oh, man, we have ripped a shit ton of them. Amen. All right, buddy, good luck. We got some Sansa. Ooh, looks like we picked you a uh, a numbered out of 75 at least. Nice little out of 75 insert showing up. All right, we got a grit. Sansa. Jorah and Dario to the rescue. Out of 75, you got the dragon eggs. Whoo! On the print. And then for the auto... 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it's the queen. Nice, Elaria Sand. She's kind of a queen. She's a queen in my eyes. Oh yeah, you'll get there. <laughs> the dragon eggs, that's a pretty sweet card right there for sure. Yeah, you'll get there. I think you you still have a couple seasons before you get to her. You'll um you'll be a fan. Yep, Obi Wan. Hello, Tala. Ooh, I think a red one would look good for this. Yeah, that's uh that one's sick. And it is numbered. 62 out of 75. <clears throat> All right, Beckett, I appreciate you coming in. You are welcome anytime, whether you purchase or just hang out. 100% totally fine, no matter what. You do the same, bud. Get your hand in there. There we go. Definitely some sweet hits right there. <clears throat> I can't believe, I still can't get over that we pulled the mountain and the hound. Like, whoo! That is absolutely awesome to me. The mountain! That is wild. I was talking about wanting to pull him. I don't know. 45 minutes before. <clears throat> I will let her know, Carrie. Appreciate you dropping in, bud. Have a good one. I'll catch you next time. What up, Rampage? Yep, tell everybody I said, hey, I haven't been in anybody else's stream tonight. We have been uh, very hands-on. I didn't even check the YouTube. Is anybody over there? Nope, we're good. People are watching. They just ain't talking. That's cool. <coughs> oh, my kinesis. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I got to pull a sand ore to go along with that mountain. Or, and I don't think he signs in this one. Let me check. How cool would it be to have the mountain right beside uh, Pedro's auto. Yeah, Pedro does not sign in this set. <clears throat> I think he only really signs in like, um, like the season one set maybe. Not sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll certainly try not to spoil it for anybody that hasn't watched all of Game of Thrones, but I most likely will at some point. Yeah, we've had some really, really good hits tonight. Need some uh, really big Star Wars hits to go along with it. I think the biggest Star Wars hit so far has been the the gold auto of a damn Twi'lek server. It is. 
It really is. And I don't know. I've talked about it all night, but the quality control and just the, the, the type of hits you get out of Game of Thrones, I absolutely love it. The Rittenhouse is really, it's getting me hooked more and more. <laughs> Haven't had the first box that I was disappointed in. And I'm a huge fan of that. <clears throat> I don't know if we're just getting super lucky, but every weekend we've ripped Game of Thrones, we pulled a dual auto. <clears throat> In the past two weekends, yeah, every single time. That can't be normal. Don't you have so far away? And we hit a printing plate the past two weekends, but those were case hits also. So, <clears throat> so one per case, and we had sealed cases, so we're definitely going to hit one. I mean, you hit a, a printing plate every single Masterworks case also, so that's not as wild. Still super exciting, though. Good Lord, I love it. What's up, Natalie? Welcome back, Cheese. What's up, Krogsda? Shh, collectibles. How you doing? Going pretty good. How y'all doing tonight? New area. New phone, who this? We are running Game of Thrones cards at the moment. We got Star Wars cards in the bin. Have you ever collected either? You ever done any uh, trading cards? Yes, there is absolutely a possibility of making some absolute money, but it's hard to hit. <clears throat> oh, I got you. Yeah, so uh, Game of Thrones, you got, if you're a Star Wars collector, um, you can get numbered cards of... I totally just lost my brain there for a second. <laughs> I got one in here. Um, Pedro Pascal. Did you ever watch Game of Thrones? You got sketches. Um, Amelia Clark signs in this set. She's the biggest absolute chase. There he is. A little uh, Mando out of 50. He doesn't sign. Oh, yeah. Amelia Clark signs in it. Um, you can also hit Brienne of Tarth, which is Captain Phasma. So that's actually one of the reasons that I kind of transferred over into Game of Thrones along with Star Wars because there's really big autos that you can get out of here along with that, you know, go along with Star Wars. But these are really cool because you get a guaranteed autograph in every single pack. You probably won't be very excited because you haven't watched the Game of Thrones, but it's still pretty cool. You can pull sketches also. They're all like hyper-realistic sketches. This one is a Wesley Smith, and then I have a Roy cover. If you saw the show, you'd be really excited about that. <laughs> yeah, it's got printing plates, everything else. Star Wars side of things, I mean, I got Obi-Wan, Book of Boba Fett, you know, the cheaper sets, and then um, I have... Let's see, 12 rounds. I have nine boxes of the Bounty Hunter set still. Nine full hobby boxes. But yeah, these are these are made by Rittenhouse. They are very good quality. 
Very good QC on these. I've never been topsed by Rittenhouse, which is a huge plus. What's up, Envy? You have missed some absolute heat tonight, buddy. What's up, Nexuses? A little bit of green day. That's acceptable. Acceptable. What's up, Chris? <clears throat> Chris NASCAR. Ooh. Oh, God, it's 1230. I've been up since 3 a.m. I've been up since yesterday morning at 3. It was ridiculous. But I ain't got to work all weekend, so I'm uh doing all right. Huge fan. already pulled in this book of Boba Fett. There's only two packs left. I might as well Percy them. Give me some book of Boba Fett base cards, right? Maybe there'll be something cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to bed because I'm old. <laughs> Chef Droid. Yeah, purple. Rancor. A little bit of Boba Fett. Oh, Kersantan. The wife's going to want that. Go ahead and set that in the Kersantan pile. Purple Fennec. Regular Fennec. The most boring Star Wars card I think that's ever been made. Chest full of spice. Like, come on. A little bit unnecessary. Hard to open. I need to start doing the uh, the old scissors trick. Are you going to come out of there? Good yeah, lows. A little Cad Bane. Cad Banathan. Rancor. A little Arsenal. Non numbered. Bleh. Garza Flip. That's a, a good looking alien. She doesn't get enough love. I think she should be more chased after. Chrysanthemum right. again. I'll put that in her stack. I don't think we have that base card for you. Good old Fennec. Yeah, the auto was the heat in that one. Out of 50, Twi'lek server came out of that 10. <laughs> All right, everybody. I am going to go and get me some sleep. And it is going to be beautiful. 
we do a last call on this last Game of Thrones pack that's open. Open box. Yeah. You too, buddy. You too. I will catch y'all. I'll probably be back on tomorrow night. Maybe tomorrow evening. I don't have a clue. You know, I ain't never good at planning nothing out. <coughs> we'll see what happens. What up, shop? And then, uh, yeah, we'll run some more Game of Thrones tomorrow night. A lot more Star Wars. Faux show. Do some more Obi-Wan, Book of Boba Fett, all that goodness. What's up, Flartner? Let's see. Who do we have on? Who can we raid? Who we got for raiding? Envy? <laughs> Man, we have ripped some amazing Game of Thrones cards tonight. I'm just getting ready to hop off for the night. Just trying to figure out. Uh, yeah, we went through. Um, let's see, we got five boxes left and one pack left out of the sixth box. So a little over half the case. Nice dual auto. We hit a Daenerys printing plate. Not an auto, but Daenerys is on it, which I count as a win. It is. It has been a very, very good night. Hit a lot of other really good autographs. We hit a. Um, we hit the mountain and the hound. Both of their autos pulled out tonight. I count that as an absolute win. <coughs> And of course, we did some Book of Boba Fett, some Obi Wan Kenobi. You know, we hit a gold Twilight server, and some, we did a little bit of TCG. It's it's been fair. It has been very fair. Let's see. We got a uh, old Bagsy's running. Let's raid over to the Bagsy. And I will catch y'all tomorrow night. Y'all have a good one. There's old Bagsy. As usual, appreciate y'all dropping in and hanging out. Laters.